Jazz <laughs> one handed jazz hands from baby. Type it, type it. Oh my goodness gracious. And then what Walter's doing time. Walter's doing the dance from um We're hanging loose. <laughs> I forgot what that dance is with uh with it, there's a movie with John Travolta and Samuel Jackson where they were doing the they were dancing and, and doing all these kind of weird hand moves. What the hell is that movie? Oh, you, uh, Samuel L. Jackson. A Tarantino. Yeah, Tarantino movie. Oh, Samuel L. Jackson don't dance like uh, Travolta. No, not J no. I, it was. They don't do the monkey dance. They don't do the butt monkey dance, do they, or something? No. Yeah. no it, this this <laughs> the movie I'm trying to think of is um, it's got uh, John Travolta and uh, my name Jack of will totally come up with it. Yeah, I forgot the woman who was dancing with. Are we on? Yes, we we are live. <laughs> oh. We are live. I don't know how we got sidetracked there, but we are live. I hope you got your big girl panties on. I'm gonna have to go IMDb that movie because it was. All right, who's going brain. to Star Wars tonight? Who's going to Star Wars tonight? I wish I were. I'm oh not. man, no I wish no I was, way. but no way. No, way. you're going tonight? No, no, no. I don't do the premiere garbage with all those weirdos. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's weirdos? True. Hell no. Those are that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Over the weekend. Oh, the, you don't like the you don't like the Star Warsies? Oh, I love the Star Wars nerds. <laughs> I like so, to make some money off them. Pulp Fiction is what. Uh, Pulp Lydia Fiction. Cyphers there said. you go. Pulp Fiction. That's the movie I was thinking of. Man, getting old. Getting old. There's like gray hairs growing in my mohawk Hell, and everything. It? Yeah, oh, it's it's terrible. <laughs> it's a terrible thing. Terrible thing. So. Hope you guys have your big girl panties on tonight. I always we do. we are we are definitely talking about uh, net neutrality and Star Wars. We got Babyface here. He can explain net neutrality. Yeah, I, I to don't us. I don't understand all that stuff. To be quite net honest with you, neutrality. Yeah, I mean. Well, um, look at that. Is there a pin in there? Yes, sir. It was yeah. a pain in the ass too, but I got I'm it. Glad I never did it for you. <laughs> <laughs> I drilled the hole straight through with the drill, and it, the pin wanted to go crooked every time I put it yeah, in. It always does that in wood. I, I don't hate, know. I hate trying to deal with that. And 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 for the ghetto luger, uh -oh. I got a new a new side plate thingy. Nice. That should fix it, right? A reproduction one. I don't know if it's that's interesting. That, that should the other one was was so pitted it wasn't working right. That yeah, should. we'll we'll see how this works. So I'm yeah. gonna do it on air. That's what I oh, built. Wow. I built uh. I finished building this last night on air. I got the site put in and everything. So yeah. we got sites now yeah. aligned. Yeah, thanks for that, Patrick R. I'm ready. You guys, you guys like? <laughs> we appreciate you. We appreciate you. <sighs> All right. So what I'm going to do here at this part of the show while you guys are yik yak yakking. <laughs> you know, <laughs> um, yeah, I am going to go shout out everyone that's hanging out in the chat. I want to remind everyone, come on, click the thumbs ups, guys. Okay, let's hit Let's it. get the thumbs up squads going. Everyone hit that thumbs up. 28. That's me, number 28. Oh, okay, all right, everyone. And and when I say everyone, Patrick, I mean you. Also. I already went and done did that. Oh, oh, excuse me. did that me. for like, like a year ago. <laughs> everyone needs to hit the thumbs ups. <laughs> Let's get these thumbs ups going on this video. We got a beat yesterday, and we did pretty good yesterday. We're at thirty-two already, so thank you. I, oh, I got to mute that. So there you go. Um, good chili. Yeah. So please click the thumbs ups. If you hate us, you can thumbs down it. That's all right. That's like fine. If you if you're for net neutrality, hit the thumbs up. No, hit the thumbs down actually, because I'm against net neutrality. What? So yeah, if you're if you're for it, if you're for it, hit the thumbs down. If you're against it, hit the thumbs ups. It doesn't I'm, really matter. <laughs> I'm against government interference. Is that is yeah. that a good one? Hell yeah. If this freezes net mind. net neutrality equals uh Obama censorship. Care. Yeah. It's Obamacare basically, so far as I'm concerned. So let oh. me shout out everyone in the in the uh, hangout. Um, don't forget to share this video as well. And uh, we are going to talk some guns. I've got, look at this. I've got this little, on the tactical walls over here, over my shoulder, I got this nice little 22 Bobcat here. That's that thing is awesome. What? I want we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. We'll show that a little bit more. And then I have kind of like, almost like a, not really a prototype sort of, there's some prototype stuff on this gun. It's an upper and lower from Kaiser US. And it's a prototype KES stock, a plastic one from Walter. And uh, is it, this was real carbon fiber handguard, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's and it's 22. Video. It has the uh, Echo the Echo 1 trigger in it. So there's we'll a, show that. There's a video of me running that thing on uh, Lola's yeah. Instagram. And yeah. it, uh, it runs yeah. really well. When you get the hang of it, it's super cool. Yeah, absolutely. So let's see. Chris 
Hello, August 1st tonight. So what's up to Chris? Tango Hunter also in here. Cody Phillips, Kentucky Firearms Network. What's up? Joe Carpenter, Robert Harris. Look at this baby face. Chris B. Fall right out in here. Right um, yeah. Do you guys do you guys mind while I'm go for it? We're just, we're just <laughs> unless you want to do some of these shout outs to the people. Let's see who we got in the house tonight. We got uh, Larry Dorazio. We got Chris B. We got Rock Humper. Let's Look at that. the Jackie Bear. Big dolls. Yeah. We got Vanessa Kitty, DC2 <laughs> Mega Boost. Someone's I'm getting an echo from someone. Lead Devil, LV Louis Cipher. Oh, I gotta get you know, I think I said Joe Carpenter. Mr. Bullshitter, what's going on? Mr. Bullshitter. Yeah. <laughs> do, I sound, do I sound a little different now? Yes. You, do, I, do I sound better? No. Do I sound worse? Do you sound like a Mickey Mouse voice? Is that deliberate? No, not definitely not. Yeah, right. Did you did helium? you uh, inhale some helium or something? Yeah, how's that? Is that any different? Yeah, that's way better. Okay. All right. Um, MW Tactical, what's up, MW Tactical? Mike, Mike is in here. Bob Bluntman, <laughs> what's going on, Bob? Um, let's see who else. Hamburger Helper. I love that stuff. <laughs> you like Hamburger Helper? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> uh, the Tyvan Show. Tyvan Show says hello, everyone. Ho ho ho. There you go. Tyvan Show is in the building. Uh, Tyvan Show also wants to know what's for dinner tonight, Walter. I am having some chili, which was part of that meat um, trade that I did. Mm -hmm. I had four bags of chili, frozen chili. Oh, it's pretty good. And I eat the chili over some macaroni. That's Man, a, you're going to be living on this meat for weeks. I hope so. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Robert Harris says he just got a package from Brownell, so he's happy. Gorillas and Guns is in here. He says, "Hey, hey, hey!" I'm, I, I did, I did the Fat Albert voice. I oh, I'm testing again. Do I sound ridiculous? Yes, you do. <laughs> you what are you funny. doing? <laughs> he's doing it deliberately. He's messing with us. Jolly Roger, you I'm USA. Really not. You're not okay. Sure. Yeah. Jolly Roger USA also in here. Rico Junkie 1981. Will Killer Keller is in here. Um, you know what? Will Killer Keller, let me see. Will Killer Keller sent me something. Can I have noodles with your chili and beans, Walter? Old school chili. Find can can I find What's that Will, again? Ki Will Killer Keller sent me something. Oh, let me see. Hold on. I'm he's, got a go plan. he's got an idea for a, something. Maybe that's what he's talking about. Oh, he does? He has an idea for something? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not chili without noodles. Wait, am I missing something here? I've never had chili with noodles. Well. So here, now, this is what Will Killer sent me last night. Um, just so everyone can see, this is Walter <laughs> and, and Kevin Dixie at White Castle. <laughs> I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I've never... <laughs> I've never been to White Castle, so I'm getting... Oh, you've never been to White Castle? No, okay, no. well, this is pretty much what it's going to look like with Walter <laughs> and Kevin Dixie at the White my, Castle. So my boy, my boy, out. he's a... Oh, uh, Will yeah. Killer, man, he's he's on fire with these uh, with these memes. You uh, you and your uh, comments about him being a genius, I think it's... You know, uh, what, you know what, Will? If you really want to help me out tonight during this show, there was someone who suggested... That I do a thumbnail that's basically Walter has Jabba the Hut, so Jabba the Walter, <laughs> and then and then Babyface P as Princess Leia chained. You remember the famous scene with oh, Jabba God, the Hut yeah. and Princess Leia? Weird. So Princess Leia with Babyface's body on it. And it's gonna get real weird. Real and fast. go. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if I don't know if Will's gonna do it, but that that'll be pretty badass. Peter Machuco is also in here. Chris or or Orcus. Orcasitis? Orcasitis, I'm going to say. I'm just going to go with that. So, <laughs> Micro Jupiter 78. <laughs> uh, Michael Bender. Uh, the Jackie Bear, which one of you guys said, said earlier. Um, and there you go. So I think that's everyone. But, you know, if I missed you, just let me know. Mark Mark Wagner just jumped in. What's up, Mark? Welcome to the Terra Dome. So, yeah. Chris says, um, Chris Orcasitas. Says, unfortunately, only crystals in Florida. Yeah, we don't, you know, yeah, crystals. Sad, sad we never argument. mentioned that. We never mentioned the crystals. <laughs> it's been a while since okay, I've been to a so Chris said is Orcasitas. Orcasitas. So there you go. That's how you pronounce his name, Orcasitas. So 
All right, very cool. John Gillian is also in here. John, what's going on? Philo, he says, I'm always amazed you send some weird guy in the Czech Republic 50 bucks and two months later you get a pair of grips that actually fit the internet. Oh, oh. <laughs> these actually came from, um, these grips actually came from Lithuania, I believe, or Latvia. Wow, one of those two that's, over there. that's yeah. a weird one. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, it is amazing, to be quite honest with you. It, it just shows you the ingenuity that people exhibit outside of America sometimes, man. And, yeah, he's, well, pro and he's probably balling from, from those people, probably balling from doing that. Right? I know. And, and, they, and they do them for a bunch of different, like, old pistols, too. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a place that in somebody in Thailand makes and sells a boatload of 1911 grips. You yeah. look for if you look for 1911 wood grips or like Colt grips in general, Python, yeah. um, all those old revolver grips in the 1911s, uh, all over eBay is some company from Thailand. So they're cranking well, out a ton of them. You saw those first wood grips I had for this thing. Mm, they were horrendous. Those. Yeah, they, they were, were terrible. terrible. They were bad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I've still got them here. I mean, somebody needs some. Uh, somebody Horrible. needs some for a dummy gun or something. I'll be more than willing to donate them. But um, okay, cool. So. These things were they didn't they didn't work on the gun. So yeah. Chris See, Bola says, Hey, Bragmo says never had White Castle. Chris Orcasita says, just call me Orca. Okay, that's good. I know that. this might uh, this I was might... thinking that in my brain, didn't want to do it. Imposter said missed me. So what's up, Imposter? Uh, am I gonna get kicked? Like, would it be like uh, um oh babyface dropped out and he's probably coming right back. Um yeah. Tyman Show said chili over spaghetti noodles is awesome. Thank you, Tyvin. Yeah. Well, there we go. Uh, it is. Right, so there's a bunch of other comments. Uh, Jason Tolatino says, Hank, I missed your 360 vids. So thank you. That's like one guy who enjoyed those 360 videos. Yeah, that was a, that was a phase he went through with the whole 360 thing. So. Uh, I still like 360. I'm just waiting for them to come out with some better cameras. Half because the time there were some people complaining, and I want to make sure, you know. Half the time I couldn't view it. Yeah. So the technology is coming up, or, you know, I, I think we will get some better cameras eventually. We'll see what happens. Left Hand Gunner is also in here. He says, what's up? Um, DC2 Mega Boost says, VZ makes excellent grips. And XW4 says, crystals uh, over White Castle any day. Okay. Okay. Chad Patrick says, what's up? And then there's a Chad N says, mac and cheese and tuna. Oh. And tuna? Yeah, there's a lot of Chads in the chat today so, that's, so there you go that's very cool so what's up to everyone please guys click the thumbs ups I don't know someone tell me how many thumbs up someone should be the thumbs ups monitor who should <laughs> we who should we nominate to tell us how many thumbs ups we have I don't know someone like someone like an, uh, what is that like an assigned duty yeah we're either we get either someone volunteers to tell us how many we have or i'm gonna assign it to someone <laughs> david a says what's up so what's going on mw tactical says we have 58 so mike is on it he says we have 58 uh bob blutman says we have 63 come on guys we have 54, like I see. yeah we have almost 100 people watching this i think we can get more thumbs ups going let's get it generated in here uh we're going to talk about a whole bunch of different things tonight tonight um, as i said in there we're going to talk about that neutrality we're going to talk about star wars who um people have let me see was it it's premiering tonight right yes midnight tonight at midnight so we're going to be talking about the star wars let's you want to start with uh you know what net neutrality or star wars um how about the ghetto how about right? Omarosa? let's talk about Omarosa. i don't, <laughs> what about I don't actually know what's going on there <laughs> uh somehow Omarosa either got fired or quit the white house or something and then there was Rumors that they had to drag her out. <laughs> Screaming? Pretty, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's getting ready for the next reality show she's going to be on. <laughs> so um, she says she wasn't dragged out. That wouldn't be the place that I would pitch a fit at, because if they wanted to drag you out, they would drag no. you out with, without any, uh, as we'll say, uh, prejudice. Uh, yeah, well, in the case of Omarosa, it could, it could go really bad, really fast for everyone. <laughs> Can you just imagine those headlines like Secret Service guns down Omarosa? Yeah. Final test. Do I sound fine. ridiculous? Yes, you do. Damn it. Would you Say stop it. messing with us? Uh, I'm trying. I'm trying to get the my studio mic working, but it, it my, the Mac hates me. Okay, we're gonna have to put together a fund for Babyface so Let that me we buy me a good microphone and I'll use a it. proper mic. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> 
The Hank right Strange now. situation is going to have to pay for this microphone no, at this they, point because this they, is crazy. Do they know if she was fired or let go or what? Or they're not saying. Um, so let's see. I think she had some kind of news conference. Uh, what was she doing anyways? Yeah. Um, what was her job? What was her title? I have no job? idea. Adjutant? She was <laughs> the... Um, she was the official African American person in the White House. Oh, stop it! Come on, <laughs> stop it! Hey, you know what? I was thinking something else, and I didn't say it. So, oh, well, <laughs> be happy I didn't say what I was thinking. Uh, it would, well, I mean, I'm thinking things too, and it'd be, I'd be like, no, I can't. Say no, you definitely don't. don't yeah. go for trouble, okay, Walter? No, let I'm, me I'm, let me do it. I have I have the built-in ghetto pass. Yeah, yeah, you can you can say bad words and get away with it. I can't say yeah. bad words. And get away with it. Yeah, what's up? Highway Run seventy seven joined us. He says, "Yo, yo, yo, what's going on?" So there you go. Um, you know, what's up, Highway Run? Make sure okay. you click as you come in. Please click the thumbs up. Thank you. To. Thank you very much, Patrick. Yeah. Yo. The new side plate don't wiggle like the old one did. Oh, that might work. Though. So I think I think we're gonna have some real trigger action instead of like fifty fifty. Sometimes yeah. the bullet and it goes off. Sometimes yeah. it doesn't. Yeah. All right, I gotta get this thing smoking, man. We're gonna do a little. <laughs> get it shooting. Yeah. So let's talk net neutrality. How about that? Let's go, right. let's hit that. Explain up. that whole thing to me. Okay. So, okay. So net neutrality. Um, it, to me, net neutrality comes down to one thing, which put into effect, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but it basically said that uh, internet service providers were common usage, uh, were, were used in like common usage, so it's the same as a telephone provider, a TV cable provider. Um, they were put into that same category, which limited what they were allowed to do. So your cable, your internet provider had to make everybody pay the same across the board. Uh. So no matter what gender or, or you know ethnicity location. you are, you all have to pay the same. Um, I don't think location factors into that. I think different markets can be, you can charge different. What's but it, it may, mainly came down to, um, yeah, it's the same as like a utility, like movie. What, what wasn't part of that like making sure everybody had access? Yeah, uh, and then so so the fear that I think is. I don't think it's quite warranted yet is that now that this it has gone away, um, what's going to happen is they're going to make swim lanes on, on the internet where uh, an internet service provider will say, hey, if you pay 80 bucks a month, you get the basic internet package. Oh, you want uh, you want to watch Netflix? Uh, that's another five bucks a month. Oh, uh, you yeah, but if you, I mean, basically, if you want a Cadillac plan, you can bump up and get it. It's like with health care. You used to be able like, to get a better plan, better kind of health care. Let's, let's go back to the 90s, kind of like when you first the Internet was first coming on. If you wanted to just see news groups, you paid X amount. Is that, if, did they have an extra charge the for full that? On, the full-on interweb with that slow download speed, you got to pay more. Yeah. Basically, they have changed it. Well, what net neutrality had done at the time whatever that was in 2014 was limited where the internet service providers weren't able to do that one one price you get the full internet or you don't you either bought pay for it or you don't yeah absolutely so the fear now is that they're gonna they're gonna price different things accordingly yeah um and per, so my personal opinion <clears throat> i don't think i think net neutrality was a band-aid to a greater problem which is lack of uh diversity in the market because if you allow the market to self-correct, say Verizon comes along and says, hey, we're going to charge extra if you want to watch streaming video. Then there'll be competition. But, but if you have the option of going to a smaller company. If there was competition, you could go to that competition. But and all, all the competition's right. been bought up. But yeah, yeah so, so there is a the, – the internet service providers have their own non-monopoly monopolies where they, they set agreements to not go into each other's markets and not cause competition. Um, and I, I, to me, I think Which net is neutrality. Collusion. Is a, yeah, basically, I think net neutrality was a band aid for a larger problem, which is lack of competition. You, or, you have the competition and allow the free market to fix itself; it will. Yeah, and basically, if you look at it this way, um, I, uh, you know, 
Sir, uh, Sir Cohen says it put the internet under government control. I think it was like socialization or communism, so, so it, it really communizing up, the, the internet where you have to come to the government and ask permission to do this thing and that thing. It, and it came down to sh two shitty options. Give, give the internet control to the government or give the internet control to corporations, which is what's happening now is we're giving the control yeah. over to Verizon or Comcast or whomever. Yeah. We need my my thing is we need more competition in the in the marketplace. I need yeah, to but, like but this way at least you can get it. This way, I'm sorry, Walter. At least this way you can get it. If like you just said, man, other companies can jump in here, get into the business. They need, they need to, but there's a problem where you gotta um, use the big guys' lines. Yeah. So the problem is the Verizon and Comcast don't want smaller people jumping in, and they're they're doing their best to keep them, you know, edged out of uh, from making competition. So I think that's a bigger problem. I support net neutrality. I think it's important, but again, I think it's just a band aid for the real problem, which is Verizon and Comcast being terrible. Well, yeah, I think ultimately we could vote with our wallets, and uh, competition will bring I, I better hope things. So. I and in so. this, and since 2015, when they put it into effect, it's it hasn't made anything better. You it know, in a lot anything. of ways, it's made things. Um, I don't think it's worse to some extent because you still see people slowing everything down and throttling you and doing all that kind so, of stuff. So they were taking people to court. They were taking uh, AT and T was one of them that was taking a court over it because uh, they were people were plan paying for unlimited uh, plans on their phones. <laughs> AT and T throttled them down after a thousand megs or whatever, right, and people right. didn't like that. They took them to court, and the population, the the group that took them to court, won or won the first case, and then it got escalated like it always does. Um, but it, again, it's all it's all to me in competition. There's not enough competition, and they are doing their best to not allow any competition. Because yeah, free market would free market would answer this easily if it was allowed to thrive like it's supposed to. And this yeah. is what this is what I said about the medicine too. The same or, yeah. or healthcare. Yep. Um, it's the same. It's the same premise. A couple of them run the whole show. Exactly. And if you can't go across state lines or go across county lines or go in the next the next township to get your internet. You're out of luck. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like here in Gainesville, I don't know what you guys have where you are, Hank, but here in like the city of Gainesville, we have basically there are two options. You have Cox, which gives you the fastest internet option. Is is, have, uh, is Cox always the option for you, Babyface? <laughs> well, I would take Verizon FiOS if I had it. He's being a wise ass. I know he's being a wise ass. I'm going to ignore it. Um, you, do you always pick the Cox option? <laughs> Let's so stay on task here. There's but. Cox. Okay, okay. I'm so, how am I supposed to let that go? So I know. Cox, which, has, which has like the fastest internet. Uh, it's not fiber fast, but it's just up there. It's cable internet. Yeah. Um, and then there is uh, then AT&T UVerse, which is DSL. Which DSL for anybody is that knows is like ten years behind. The fastest they go is like two megs a second, which is bullshit. Like, yeah. there's no way I'm using two megs a second to game. I'm right now. I'm getting like forty megs a second. Like, it's ridiculous. Yeah, okay. I, we've got DSL we, where we are. You know, yeah. you know <laughs> well, you're in the country, man. You get what exactly. you get. Exactly. Yeah, I know. Um, but you want to hear what we have? <laughs> yeah. What do you guys have? There's, 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 there's Bright House here. And then there's Verizon, which is um, um, not it's not Verizon anymore. It's the FiOS thing was sold off yeah, to them. Um, it starts with an F. I can't remember who it's called. Uh, yeah. Oh, man, it, it involves it. bending over. And then um, <laughs> and oh, sorry Whoa. about that. Um, <laughs> at, least it doesn't, at least it doesn't involve Cox. <laughs> bending over to Cox. And then there is this Wow. Another one is I, I don't know that one. Wow, Those are big. all weird. Those are all weird. I guess that's because you live in uh, Clearwater. Yeah, you yeah. have a big enough uh, municipality where they're gonna. There yeah. hopefully will be some competition. Yeah. Do the Scientologists <laughs> run the internet in Clearwater? That's what I want to know. Probably. No, I don't think. How so. many do you do you have Scientologists that live next door to you? <laughs> Us? Are you a Scientologist, Walter? I think <laughs> I'm getting lots of questions here. It's like Walter lives that, in Clearwater. That, Is he? Anybody that knows me would know that that wouldn't work. Me and I'm just teasing you. I'm just teasing you. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm just teasing, and actually, I'm teasing because, believe it or not, my my father is a Scientologist. Has Frontier. Been Frontier is one. Frontier is a new one. Yeah. Yeah. That's something where Will Will Killer Keller jumped in. Yeah. Wild Frontier and and um, Bright and front, House. So Frontiers, their speed is really great. Uh, for what I hear, though, is their customer service is horrible. Spectrum. <laughs> that's all. Spectrum. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think, 
Right house but, turned in the spectrum. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think you'll see a lot of this change, and you know, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. But you, what? If, if Google supports something, which Google supports net neutrality, yeah. if all these big companies support it, and it's, that's a bad sign. Yeah. There's there's so. reasons they do. They don't do it just because they think, like you think or I think. Mm -hmm. They have. They want to own everything. Google, Google controls all the lines, from what I understand, from my hearing talking to people who know more than I do. So. They can throttle, they can pick and choose, they can, you know, if they decide Hank Strange is, is talking too bad about him, they can just put the on you and uh, clamp you down. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Maybe we'll be able to make, someone will invent something and we can make our own internet. Well, technology <laughs> is, you know, always changing. So you never know. One day you might not need their lines, so to speak. Right. Um, so that's the awesome. other option is uh, if somebody comes along and decides to make a, like a, a, a Cell phone style sort of thing, right, but again, right. but again, I think there's owns, better options the now. Towers. Knowing so you got to go into that tower. Who owns that cell tower? Verizon yeah. owns the one next to me. I can tell right. you that. Knowing America as I do, they have better options out there right now over the airwaves. But the thing is, they they slow down progression of everything here in America. Bootleg. I yeah. say we set up a transmitter in a truck, like the old days. You know, so there, there used to be a um, tap tap into your neighbor's cable. <laughs> uh, who was it? Oh, Verizon. Like the, the old World War Two movies where the Nazis are looking for the for the uh, for the partisans with their radio transmitter and they're they're sweeping the neighborhood Sprint. with their, yeah. So, so Sprint, this is one thing that Sprint did. When they first brought out their version of 4G, uh, they didn't use LTE at the time. They were using WiMAX or something like that is what it was called. Um, and basically, it was a giant Wi-Fi router, like the size of a truck, oh, yeah. location mm -hmm. that, would, that would service the whole area. It, it's not as, uh, obviously, LTE 1, which is why LTE is being used by everybody now. But yeah, yeah it, it was, that was done. Well, I back mean, in the day too, they had that where you had the antenna on your house and it pointed toward. It was like oh, yeah. a microwave or what it was. Or no, I'll agree, I'll agree with Insight. Marley has Sprint, and it's it's hot garbage. It's the worst service ever. Yeah. yeah. Um, Jason Abramson said, "I love this. I can watch Family Feud and some of my favorite gun guys at the same time. <laughs> Life is good." Hashtag build big girl panties. So you know when you're thumbs upping us and all that kind oh, of stuff, yeah, hit, I gotta hit it. Gotta do that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, <laughs> hit the thumbs up on something. Jazz so, hands, hashtag thumbs up. Easy guy, eighty. You can you can yell at Hank and Walter. I think net neutrality was a band aid that was needed. Um, they're the ones that are saying it's not. So yell at them. Yeah. So uh, he's uh, saying that we're idiots and uh, we'll be begging for net neutrality soon. I don't think so. I, I I'm confused about the whole thing still. So uh, I don't know which the. Uh, I I won't be begging for it. Okay. Cause your uh, internet sucks anyway. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> It can't get no worse. So bad. Do yeah. you think? Do you think eventually it'd be like the satellite thing? Like, well, but I mean, uh, the satellites are expensive and it's limited. It's, and yeah, it's, satellite. It's there is satellite internet, but it's it's crazy expensive. Way over price. Yeah, I. Yeah, I mean, because I love satellite radio. I mean, I don't I don't listen to commercial radio anymore. It's a very annoying. I want to kill somebody when they put the radio on. <laughs> Yak Yakker ninety four says, um, you know, net neutrality is a good thing. Guy eighty, are you yeah. a commie? <laughs> yeah, opt out of gun control says I want the government to stay as far out of everything as possible. That's where I'm at. I don't know how you're for oh, yeah. guns or you're against gun control, but you're for net neutrality. That's interesting. It because because there's a monopoly in the industry. Yeah, that's because problem. the industry doesn't play fair. That's the no, yeah. <laughs> and, and I, that's coming from me. That's but look what's going on right now with like Disney buying um bunch, they're bunch monopolizing. Of boxes. They're you, they're you want the entertainment media. guys doing your news really? Yeah, yeah they're taking really? over. Disney's buying. Um, up do you believe the news? Every single news uh, anchor not, in America has been in a movie. Every single news anchor is an actor no. anyway. So fuck those guys. But still, Hank, a lot of people do believe it. That's why you have all this silly shit that's going on now. Yeah. Why, you, why We're investigating somebody for a Russian thing that's been purely uh, shown to be all false, but it still goes on. Yeah, and at the same time, no one, no one wants to investigate Chuck Schumer. I refuse to let the Chuck Schumer story die. Give I it refuse. time. <laughs> Give it time, my friend. There's a lot of. I think there's a lot of stuff that's going to come out here before. Hey, you may you may be able to talk to this a little bit. Uh, a friend of a friend of mine at work today and I were talking about this. Is we're moving off topic here, but this was interesting yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. um, Disney, Disney fied uh, Times Square back in what the 70s or 80s. Before it was like hookers and blow everywhere. 
And drugs. Yeah. And drugs. Um, yeah. Yeah. All the way up into the '80s, I think into the '90s, um, it they, was like that. Yeah. You could go. DC there was like eight shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's what it over yeah. now. It's it is what it is. Yeah, I was listening one time Stephen Tyler Aerosmith when they were doing the drugs. They said like, go down to Times Square to buy their stuff. You know. That's so crazy. Mm -hmm. yeah. As somebody who never lived through that, who's too young to like know that. That's crazy to me because all I know is Times Square as it's, in it's a, it's a big show now. Yeah. The ball drop and yeah, that's all I know Times Square to be. Go look at an '80s movie. That's pretty much what like any whatever you see in New York <laughs> in an '80s movie about. That's what it was like. <laughs> it was really like that shit. It was really crazy. You could get robbed. You can get mugged, and people standing right there like, mm, okay, <laughs> too bad for you. You just got mugged. Yeah. So that was that was like super interesting to me that you know yeah. Disney brought, basically made it into what it is today. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tango Hunter says, is Cox Internet really Cox or is it a tranny and we're getting catfished? <laughs> <laughs> you have to ask uh, Babyface that because he's the one that has Cox. It's, it's C O X. <laughs> yeah, C O X. Yeah. Yes, we're saying, yes, that's a totally what I'm saying. Oh, I'm saying the C O X version. <laughs> well, we fell in the gutter right off the bat. Boom. <laughs> I mean, we just like fucking Hank did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brian Quick says government regulation of industry never works out for the people. Yeah, you know, uh, it works out for the government. So there you go. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 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 I'm, torn. I'm really. It's one of these that I'm torn. I don't like government intervention, but I also don't like monopolies. Yeah, yeah. I don't like where you're limited to who's controlling the. Yeah, yeah. You know, because they might not even know that they they definitely probably aren't in your looking out for your better no, interests. No, of course. Yeah. MW Tactical says if we get six more thumbs ups, we get to a hundred. Come on, people. We've got over a hundred people. We have a hundred and twelve people watching. You know, do we have to like evangelize for a thumbs up? <laughs> oh, damn, mercy. Get on that thing and give us some yeah. porn. Give us some stuff. Go on, yeah. Chris, go, Walter. Chris Kellogg's my brothers and praise sisters. Praise the praise the Lord. I need to take Hank and uh, Walter. Will bless you if you give us a thumbs up right now. I, I lay my hands on you. We got we got three votes. Yeah. That's a that's a pretty high number for us. What? We got three down votes. Ah, yeah. <laughs> we, oh, we got three th th thumbs yeah. down. I kiss a rattlesnake. Those, ah. those were the those were the net neutrality guys that thumbs down us. That's totally um, fine. Jason so Chris, Abramson said we hit we hit one hundred. <laughs> Chris Ellis says I need to take uh, take you and Walter to Metro Diner for some chicken and waffles, and I oh, agree yeah. because it is delicious. Oh yeah, I will totally <laughs> go there with you, and I will either have chicken or I will have waffles. <laughs> <laughs> Both of those two things other. are not mixing on my plate. Not cross here, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not crossing the streams. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> so uh, another. Another thing, have you guys seen these uh, these shotgun traps that some people have been making? I need a machine one just for just for yeah. shit. Uh, MW Tactical wants to know who was one hundred number one hundred. I have no idea who was number one hundred. The thumbs I was, up us. I was definitely not number ninety. I didn't hit the button again. Yeah, so we're at one hundred six. I'm not sure. I I don't know why MW <laughs> wants to know that, but you know we're we're at one hundred six. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Thank you, brothers and sisters of the Church of the Gun. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of fun. Yeah. The church of the guy. Having fun. David Walter says he was ninety-eight. So there you go. Um, Meredith, 15, bucks. fifteen bucks. Okay, babyface, you want to read that one? Finishing the SKS Resto now restoration. Decided yeah. on high temp industrial paint up to two thousand degrees. I ended up polishing the barrel anyways. Uh, it's flat black vid coming soon. Thanks for the advice, my dudes. My dudes. Uh, I want to okay, see some pictures good. of it. You need to yeah. put yeah. on, on some gun, gun gorn. Yeah. The face. Well, also, when when you put when you post up the video and then you come on and hang out with us, let us know when you have the video up, and we'll all go over there and look yeah, at your we video. Yeah, we can stick it in in chat. You guys. Can I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask the uh, the crowd here. Anybody would like to see me test fire in the bullet trap? I could do that live on. Right now, we're gonna go. Well, back I'm, not, to the... I'm not. The bullet trap's not in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was about to say, when did you yeah. bring the bullet trap? No, one house? night when I'm at the shop. You know. Yeah, of course. I want to see sh how does that thing work. I was actually wondering that because the bullet it's, trap is only like three feet. It's wide. shaped like it's shaped like a a, a, a a shell inside with a. So it's uh, like helical. Right, right, right. So you fire the round, it hits the the thick part of the thing inside, obviously. And there's water going at the same time. Oh, it's water. Okay. And the water slows it down and 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 turns okay, down the fire that. and brimstone from the blast I, and all. I that. didn't realize there was water involved in that. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, oh, yeah. If, that's I, I, I made the mistake one time firing a fifty without the water on. It just blasted up. 
It wasn't pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at the How It's Made video, you can see it splashing. Um, so the Tyvin Show said he was number one, and MW Tactical was saying, I'll put it out there. Whoever was number one, I will send them a patch. So there you go. Thank you very much, Mike. We Snail appreciate trap that. Is what um, it's crispy saying. Yeah, it's, yeah. A, um, it's made by um, Savage Range Systems. If you want to check them out, Savage Range Systems. They make desk. They make desktop ones that small, and then mine desktop? is desktop. Desktop, yeah. Like if you should test firing pistols and stuff. Yeah, like that. that's crazy. I feel yeah. like I need that right now, and I could just do desk desk pops. And what's that um, movie? Who who knows the movie? What? Doing a desk pop. Is that what it's called? A desk pop, uh, uh, the Matrix. I don't know. No, David, no, David no. Walters wants to know um, how thick is the steel on the bullet trap? In the back where it where it hits the first time, it's about an inch, inch and a quarter, and it's like an, it, a, it's at eleven degree angle. So when it, it hits, uh, it, like AR five hundred or five fifty. Yeah, it's like one of those armor steel. plated, the okay. armor plated steels. But it hits it at that eleven degree angle, and then it deflects it's it down close. in the. And when the when the rounds ah, come out, there it is. Other guys. <laughs> the, uh, oh. The, um, oh yes, okay, I remember. The desk pop. <laughs> the jacket pull on the fifty cal. The jacket is tore off it, and it, and the steel inside's flattened out. Yeah, um, pretty good. Now on little rounds like nine millimeter and stuff, sometimes they come out whole. Sometimes Ooh. they come out all deformed. Just you depends on the round. Tiny one. Which one? Yeah. Do you Bullet David traps. B kills uh, 219 says, I'm not getting notified anymore when Hank goes live. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Uh, definitely make sure you're subscribed. There's make a, sure that you uh, click the Google notification in your bell. Line. Yes, notification there. bell. I think that's important. Yeah. yeah. How much yeah. does it weigh? Yeah, so how heavy is that thing? Uh, it's pretty freaking heavy. <laughs> you can't, you can't, like, two guys can't carry it. You need no, no. forklift? Yeah. Okay. It's, um... It probably weighs, I think I remember correctly, maybe 900 pounds, something like Whoa, that. Whoa, okay, that is that is definitely very That's heavy. heavy. Yeah. Uh, Razor JB wants to know, Walter, is there a limit to how many rounds total per test? That I can shoot at one time? Is it, yeah, yeah. does it never wear out? Um, it'll wear out eventually. I do have a replacement piece because it's all bolted together that goes inside. Mm -hmm. But I haven't had to use it yet, and I've had this trap since uh, 2008, I think. Um. But we're not shooting like that, 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 like that in it too. So it's one or two rounds per boom. fifty, right? Yeah, I mean, no, you're I, shooting, yeah, fifty. I mean, that's expensive every time you're testing. Well, if I have 50, fifteen rifles, I shoot fifteen times or twenty right. or thirty. It depends on how many times I shoot each one. But I mean, smaller caliber stuff, yeah, you can rock in it. You can shoot. I've shot MG forty two in it and stuff like that. And, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, those are those are all pea shooters compared to fifty cal. So wait, who is who is complaining about not getting notifications? Um, I, I think it was David B. Kills. Inside Freedom says um, unsub and then resub if you're having that problem. I don't know if that'll work, but uh, uh, just every day seven o'clock Eastern time. Every day seven o'clock Eastern. I don't know what time in the the country that is for you. Could be four o'clock California time if you're in California, but every day seven o'clock. Yep. Basically, whether you like it <laughs> yeah. or not. Yeah. So a couple of things. Jason Abrams said to the five people that thumbs down this video, this show, <laughs> he, he gives them the finger, the bird, <laughs> flip them off, if however you want to put it. Um, <laughs> uh, the Tyvin show says Walter he needs like thirty, uh, thirty of the fifty cal brass. Um, I told him to call me. Yeah. Can you get a hookup? Uh, okay. There you go. A lot of brass. And uh, David Walter says you have to hit the little bell next to the subscribe bar. Yes, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, Will was saying there was a video of me shooting the uh, PPSH, the mini PPSH forty one full auto in the bullet trap. Um, and that's not had no issue. Pardon me. That had no problem. Just oh, uh, that's no P problem. shooter. That's P no. shooter. Yeah, man. Yeah, nine oh four outdoors is in the house, guys. Nine oh four. He says, um, "Hey, you guys. Does anyone know what that hey you guys is from? You guys. I it's can't. from a movie that just got inducted into some kind of Hall of Fame of movies uh, in America. Hey, really." Yeah. I have no idea. You know I, what I mean? I know the Goonies. The, oh, is it the Goonies? Oh, the Goonies. God, I, I was a cult Don't say movie. you hate the Goonies. <sighs> Sorry, Because Hank. you look like the kid in the Goonies. You look like the kid Chunk in the Goonies all grown up. <laughs> chunk. <laughs> yeah, well, I would be Chunk. <laughs> <laughs> I got your Chunk right here. I got, you. I got, you chunk. I got a Chunk for you. <laughs> I got your Chunk right here. Oh, the Goonies. Yeah, I mean, I, that, those are one of those movies that annoys me. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to turn it off. You don't like the Goonies? That's a freaking awesome that's, that's movie. That's like, yeah, it's, I think it's one of our least favorite movies. Okay. Man, I love it's, that movie. Right. You, you can, you can like it. You can like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, you see, prob- okay, so in the 80s when that movie came out, you were probably like, a, what, older teenager leading towards 20? Okay, I graduated high school. 22,000? 1980, in, in 1980. So the 80s, I wasn't look, watching the Goonies. I was trying to you get, know, get, 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 get some boom boom. Trying to get your have, gonads off, I know. <laughs> go have some fun, yeah. yeah. So. 904 says Walter needs to do the truffle shuffle. <laughs> 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 I know you know what that is. I know you know what that is—the truffle shuffle. I—I uh, I, I probably don't. No. That is a—that is an <laughs> awesome, iconic American movie, The Goonies. Oh, okay. I mean, well, you know, what about I, the, I have I have been forced to watch parts of it when somebody what about else a is watching. Tale? It, so. How how iconic is that to you? Oh, well, yeah, of course that's iconic. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. I watch that every time. During the Christmas season, I watch that several times. Okay. The Goonies? <laughs> no, cr- the no, Christmas, Christmas tale. tale. Christmas Tale. Oh. Um, oh. I also watch uh, several. T- I watch uh, the Santa Claus, the Santa. Uh, the Santa Claus with um, what's oh, with Tim. Um, oh, Tim, Tim Allen. To, with Tim Allen. Now that's good. that's okay. a cute movie. That's a nice movie. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bunch of Christmas movies I like to watch. Um, what's your favorite Christmas movies? Oh God. I, I like the uh, I like National Lampoon. Mine are nostalgic from when I was a kid. So my my favorite ones are the um, those like claymation ones. I don't know which. Oh, like like um, the heat the, miser. The Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Uh, yeah, those ones when I was a kid. I, oh, I watched yeah, them yeah. all the time. Bumble, uh, you know, yeah. and the yeah, those are awesome. Those yeah, are those are those are some of my favorites. Uh, and then yeah. what Charlie Brown Charlie Christmas? Brown Christmas. What? It's a classic. The movie from the Charlie Brown Christmas is awesome. If yeah. you like that, if you like that um, kind of music. I'm, I was never a fan of the Charlie Brown movies. <laughs> Brian Quick says Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard. Oh, Die Hard also got inducted. And yes, it's a Is Christmas it really? movie. Yeah. It Lethal. got inducted. And it's every single Die Hard movie is a Christmas movie. <laughs> so I watched those <laughs> several times. Several times. Heat Miser and Snow Miser. That's it. Oh, man. I got to watch this. 1974 is when the year without Santa Claus. That's the name of the movie. Oh. I watch a Christmas Carol movie. What was the one with um man, there's there's a bunch of different Christmas Carol movies. You know, we are gonna have a Christmas show now. You know that? Yeah, we are yes, that's true. Okay, okay. Well, so we'll you're you're, yeah, you're we shooting your having, wad, but you're losing yeah. your you're blowing your wad before you have the chance to have the show. <laughs> blowing my wad? Do I look like Ron Jeremy to you? <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> yes, yes. we're going to talk about this next Crispy, Tuesday. All the Claymation yeah. Christmas shows are the best. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> talk about this. Also, one of my favorite Christmas movies, Coming to America. Was that? <laughs> would you call that a Christmas movie? Of course it's a Christmas All The only thing that a movie has to do to qualify to be a be, Christmas movie is have, a Christmas is have Christmas, Christmas in happening in it. <laughs> have, a, have a guy dressed up as Santa somewhere? <laughs> the drunk Santa scene? Yeah. Yeah, if there's Christmas going down, um, what's what's the other one? Um, oh, not not coming change. to America. I'm thinking of changing places. Changing places. That's oh, the one I'm thinking of with the drunk Santa scene where he's yeah. he's like drinking. He got the yeah. dirty beard. Yeah, that's a Christmas <laughs> movie. Uh, Imposter said, "It's a Wonderful Life." I, I watched that's that a couple it. times. I, you know, it's a Wonderful Life. I'm sure I've seen it. Okay, I they're asking it. about the uh, Franklin uh, trigger thing for the MP5. Have you shot yeah, it the yet? The PFS3. No. Why are you have we so much putting echo? It- we're putting it into a gun. Actually, we put it into a gun. We just haven't yeah. finished that yet. Yeah, yeah, we're working on it. You know, what? speaking of my bullet trap and shooting and all that stuff, back in the old days, you know, when I didn't have a trap, I had to go test fire at the range, or whenever you build a rifle, you'd have to wait till you go test firing. Now, oh, man, like this afternoon, Chris, my machinist, he, he put together something, he wanted to test it. It was just pow, 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 pow you know, and, and it's, it's great, you know, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anytime bullet, I build anything, I have to go. <laughs> Go yeah, you gotta range. wait, and the waiting is the worst part. Yeah, know? yeah, the waiting is the worst because when you get there, something's inevitably gonna go wrong. You're gonna, you gotta come back again. You know, you're gonna forget something. Something's gonna break, and then you gotta come home, fix it, and go back. Or someone's yeah. acting crazy at the range. <laughs> oh, God, I've had that. <laughs> but that bullet trap was nine grand too. So, oh no, I, I didn't realize it was that expensive. <laughs> I mean, you could totally go to the right. I mean, yeah, I don't know reason. about you guys. I just go out the back door, oh, yeah, walk yeah, a couple yeah. of steps. Yeah, but I got know, fast internet, so it's hard. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I would rather have my own rain. No, actually. Well, yeah. Scrooged. Scrooge. <laughs> Scrooge. That Scrooge. is the best Christmas movie on the face What's of the, the planet. Uh, 
ever. Not the Nightmare Before Christmas. What's in the I, world. I think that's a Halloween movie for me. Nightmare Before Scrooged. But that's a claymation no, kind of thing. Nightmare Before, before No, Scrooge is not claymation. No, no, no. I'm talking about that's Nightmare Bill Murray. Nightmare. Oh, Nightmare, Nightmare before, before Christmas? Yeah. That's okay. That's Halloween to me. I don't think of that as Christmas. Yeah. Um, yeah. what's the one? Um, oh man. I just had it in my brain and I can't think of it now. I forgot it. Yeah. There are so many okay. good ones. So we will continue this conversation on this. Yeah, next what, Wednesday? Uh, yeah, yeah, next Wednesday. We'll definitely do it. Wednesday, um, Wednesday, whatever day. Ho, ho, ho. We need ho, more, ho. more binary triggers. More. I, yeah, I guess, whatever. <laughs> I guess, whatever. Oh, what? You're yeah, not, you're not a fan? Over here with your full no, I, I, I just, just the, the new part of it's wore off. So now it's just, it's binary triggers for everything. So that's fine. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. But you're I'm just too, saying the newness is gone. You're so. too damn expensive. There's a place in the market right now where somebody needs to come out with a $150 alternative or $200 alternative. Well, Not this you know. $500 bullshit. That, oh, sorry, I hate it. Yeah, the <laughs> listen, I think we were just talking about net neutrality and all that. I think competition will bring down the prices. And Eventually then somebody will. Yeah, un unless laws and things like that, and people start now, signing. Are you going to say is somebody going to spend four hundred dollars to get a binary trigger for their Ruger ten twenty two that they paid? Exactly. They some no, will. I, some yeah. will. Yes, but yeah. most people, most people no. that shoot twenty twos no. are shoot shooting twenty twos because they're on the. Yeah. They cheaper to shoot now. Yeah. Anyway, I want is seven hundred dollars. Are you kidding me? No, I yeah, I don't think um, people crazy. will spend that much on a twenty-two. But you know, there are expensive twenty-two triggers. But I don't think anyone will do it. And you know, while we're talking about that, we can show some Gorn. You guys Gorn. remember this, right? I have videos of this. This is the Kaiser U.S. Upper and Lower. This is like a mostly plastic gun. Is that, that um, yeah, I have some, yeah. I have a video of. So it's Kaiser U.S. Upper and Lower in gray. And then this is the experimental uh, Safety Harbor KES stock. Plastic. Have you ever, Walter? Have you ever talked any more about that, or is that still kind of under wraps? No, I mean, um, and a I, carbon fiber handguard, and it's a twenty-two, and 22. it's got the uh, Echo <laughs> One trigger. I'm not done. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm done. Finished. No, <laughs> no, I'm listening. We're listening. Uh, probably after shot, I'm gonna get some prices on some molds and stuff. So. Oh, you're actually going the mold route. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was wondering about. I mean, was, what, this what is Hank, a great what, idea, man. What Hank was holding there in his paws and interrupting me every five seconds <laughs> is um, that was that was printed on a on a three D printer. So yeah, oh, because I I know you had a different route you were. And, and we've we actually in the shop right now. We have some CZ parts that have been machined, and it's that's pretty what cool. I saw. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you, yeah, when you make the mold, here's what you do. Here you put a you know face. a S Hank's and an H. You put an S and an H. For Hank Strange, <laughs> okay, and then you put skulls and crossbones on there, uh -huh. and that, you call this stock the the Hank. So that right there, uh, for Bob Wildman, whatever your name is, <laughs> Bubble <laughs> Man, um, that right there is a is a conversion kit. What basically what's in that other than the trigger is an M16 conversion kit. Um, yeah, it's anyway. a CMMG 22, yeah. Yeah, and it that's works. Bob, that's Bob Bluntman. Bob yeah. Bluntman. Yeah. Bubble so, Trend Man. You know, yeah, like the, Bob Marley. Bob Marley, get it? Um, the, C, the CMMG conversion kits work very well. They're awesome, the but they're not binary. That's, no, if you're gonna buy one, get the CMMG kit. Yeah, they work great. The um, but this has the this has a um, Echo Two trigger in it, right? And it works yeah. really well. Yeah, the only problem I have with it, like right now, um, is when you put the trigger back in there, you have to do it in a certain way, otherwise the trigger doesn't reset and all that. So that's. I gotta figure. I, I always forget how to do that, Walter. It's totally annoying to me. Yeah, you have to actually pull the um. You have to put the bolt back a little bit as you. It's kind of tricky to get it in. You got to kind of put it in bass yeah. So And you know what's messed up in our video about that? We should have shown that, and we did it. Uh, well, that thing was rigged. Remember to get that to work. We had to cut the spring off inside there and make it shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but anyways, yes. Um, yeah, we do have a video on it, and then with 22s, like I said, I got the, uh, the Bobcat 22, a little lightweight. Did you yeah. guys it's see a the cute gun? Did you guys see the Chicago typewriter news that came out today? No. What happened? Uh, you're gonna need to get one, especially because you have a source. Oh wait a minute, the the Science Co thing with Brownells teamed up with Brownells to make oh, a the Thompson. suppressed Thompson. Yeah. 
Submachine gun. It's oh, where is this? Wait a second. In, where did in you a find In a violin case. In a violin case. I want Where the hell is this? Is it's this so it's, bad? I just stuck it in chat for you. It's thirty five hundred bucks though, but just thirty five hundred. But that's pretty Holy cool. Geez. You could do it yourself though. You don't have to freaking. No, 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 no. You don't have to do it. You don't have to buy theirs if you didn't want to. I mean, hopefully that link works for everybody. I don't know if it works. I, I wanted to talk oh, about that yesterday, but I forgot. Link. So ignore that link. That's the wrong one. Why are you sending uh, us to Cox Point? No, no, no. The, it, <laughs> It doesn't. No, I've, it, it popped up for me. Brownell's now offering Chicago typewriter Tommy gun package. No, the one that I stuck in chat didn't work. It sent you to the wrong thing because oh, it's the fucking worst. Uh, okay. Let's see here. Yeah, so it's it's the uh, 45, the Omega 45, which is the smaller can on a Thompson non submachine gun. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just a knock, yeah, knockoff, yeah. Yeah. But it's super cool. Yeah, well, it was. It was a cool idea. Yeah. yeah. And I think it's SBR. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's SBR. You saw that when Sansico did the Bren 805, didn't you? With the. Yes, I remember that. Are they still making those, or do they just do a limited run? That was a limited it's thing. Fun. That was a limited. It's probably the same yeah. thing, unfortunately. Uh, John Gilliam, you didn't miss all the uh, Gorn. You will be coming back, Walter. I think you've got some guns. Babyface has some stuff. Uh, Babyface. Yeah. You you, you got off? a suppressor. You got a suppressor. I haven't shown off. I've been holding off. Show it off. Be back in a second. Yeah, Here's what go we ahead. got. Talking about Silencer Co. We got a yeah. E9A3. Babyface a needs a t-shirt that says Silencer Co. Hold. I can go put one on right now if you want. No, I want one that says, like for you, that says Silencer Co. Whore. You're uh, a whore. So this is, this is my free <laughs> you, suppressor. You have too many Silencer Co.'s, my friend. Should I tell the, the story of getting a free suppressor? No, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> uh, so this is this. I've been waiting a literal year for this suppressor. Um, I put the paperwork in last, the end of last November, and it just came in like three days ago. So this is a forty-five Osprey. Um, funny enough, I don't actually have a forty-five right now that I can put this on. <laughs> I have two forty-five cans now in the safe, and no suppressor. Um, no I can help 45. you with that. I can help you. Just so. You can. So we need to suppress something in forty-five. Yeah, um, or you could put it on a three hundred blackout, I guess. Well, I I put the um I I do have a thread adapter for a half by twenty-eight. Uh, I have the half by twenty-eight booster, so I just put the half by twenty-eight booster and put it on my M ninety three. Yeah. Um, it's kind of big. Obviously, it's the the nine millimeter one would only be about that long, but hey, it's cool, and uh, I I like the I, just this oblong shape is neat to me. I don't know why. I like that. Uh, I like that profile. Yeah. Why am I hearing a phone ringing? Amy. Lola, your phone's ringing, woman. <laughs> Enough of this hipster bullshit. Yeah. So here you go. Here's by the way, one of these came in. I don't know. Let's see who recognizes this. What gun this is? I want. I don't know if you could see past the. Uh, don't show me that. So don't this came into that. the store. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys could see it, but oh. basically, it's a Hudson H9. Did you get to it's bottle the, it? Yeah, I did. I messed How around with it. I think I did a video. Did I do a video? Uh, what did it feel pretty did good? A little video. Yeah, it feels good, man. I um I should have bought that thing. <laughs> I should have bought that thing. <laughs> you know, um, I'm tempted. I'm. T I don't know. I would trade it's, up for it, but I don't have the cash to just go buy. It. It's too close to Christmas at this point. Yeah, yeah it's too expensive. Yeah, one of these came into the store. So, okay, no, video name. of a video is always great. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> that's not fun. But yeah, anyway, so uh, Big Daddy Guns has a Hudson H9 right now. Somebody go buy it so I don't get tempted to go buy it. Yeah, not a lot of them out there in the world. If, you, if you're not. looking for one, you can call up Big Daddy Guns or go into the store tomorrow. And, um, you know, get your hands on it, and we will all be very jealous of you. Yeah. You know, and don't forget, on Saturday, on Saturday, WMD Guns is going to be doing an in-store at Big Daddy Guns. I'll be there. Babyface will be there. There's, oh, by the way, Babyface, there's going to be yeah. prizes. What? Is it a Hudson H9? <laughs> no, I don't think, no, it's not. It's not the Hudson H9. But there will be prizes um, given away by, by WMD Guns in the store. I'd love to be involved in that. And there'll They're be a red. sale of the WMD time. guns. Uh, by the way, Mike7599 says, do you guys have a video out on how to mod your CMMG22 conversion kit to work with an Echo Trigger? No. We do. We do, right, Walter? 
Yes, we did. Yeah, not, not, yes, yes, we did. Um, yeah, we yeah. went over it in the. Let me see. The, what is the name of that video? Um, I messed with a lot of stuff trying to make it work, mm -hmm. and trying to fix things and weld things and do everything else. And then we finally talked to some people and didn't have to do half the stuff I did. So, yeah, it's called AR twenty two lightweight. Let me see. Um, I will put it. I will put this here in the. Uh, I'll put it in the chat if you want to look at it. So Walter, there's a part of the video where Walter goes over what he had to do to mod the gun so that it works with it. And basically, we had to call up uh, Judd from Fostec, and you know, we were trying to figure it out on our own. He helped yeah. a little bit, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He helped us out before. Yeah, we yeah, yeah. It makes some suggestions. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just a little tab that we had to cut off, right? We had, to we had to shorten one of the triggers a little bit, uh, one of the springs a little bit too. Yes. Okay. Shorten the spring and cut off one of the tabs. We show it in the. We show that in the video. So there you go. Um, um, well, look right. at this. This is um, M855A1 EPR officially opt opted by the Marine Corps. Must be a new bullet. Oh, this got. is a new bullet with the uh, tungsten penetrator on it. Yeah, the more more penetration. Yeah. They are really cool. Did you link it in chat? I don't see it. No, I didn't. I was just looking on the firearms blog. Oh yeah, they um they're really cool. Yeah, uh, you can find some places that have them that are pools that you can reload, but they currently are hella expensive, like crazy expensive, like dollar a bullet expensive for two two three. That's pretty. Uh, that's that's pretty Obama like. Yeah, it's ridiculous. <laughs> so, yeah, that supposedly they're moving towards that, but uh, I'm not gonna be. <laughs> I'm not gonna be buying up any dollar. A dollar around two two three anytime soon. Once again, <laughs> two two three still suffers from the same problem. It for a long distance, it just don't work. Nah, you need a three hundred eight. Yeah, super awesome stuff. So now let's go to Star Wars. So by a show of hands, <laughs> who in here is a Star Wars fan? If you're in the chat, you can tell us Star Wars fan. So fan or not fan? Oh, totally. Patrick, are you a fan? Totally. You're a fan. Mm -hmm. Okay, Walter, are you a fan? Yeah. Walter's yeah. a fan. Oh, I'm kind of you know I'm I'm, I'm a fan. I wish I had some batteries in this uh, flashlight. Cause this thing I, is I wish there were more women in the uh, future, <laughs> in in the in the galaxy far Daisy, far away. Daisy Ridley doesn't doesn't yeah. do it for you. Um, you know, there's just not enough. Uh, there's not enough chicks in the future. Let apparently. me translate. <laughs> let me translate for you, Patrick. <laughs> too, much, too much clothes. <laughs> no, right. just, you know these movies like i like sci-fi movies that and i do like star wars but i like sci-fi movies that have women in it i mean this some is some new some new some new da, 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 <laughs> you know, that doesn't hurt doesn't hurt <laughs> so there you go you know um they'll never have princess leia again you know yeah um it so so you guys are not going to go see it at the premiere, obviously, no. tonight, because we're here doing this. <laughs> so when Probably. are you going to go see it, pa um, Patrick? When are you? Yeah, go sometime it? after Christmas. I don't think I'm going to try to avoid the rush. We'll wait till after the rush and then go see. After it. Christmas, okay, Walter. When are you going this weekend? Pro no, hell no. Probably um, probably in a week or so, like on a Sunday morning or something. Yeah, yeah. You got to avoid yeah. all the where all I don't the have to fight the crowds and yep. all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Anyone is anyone gonna see it in IMAX? I might. Uh, that's not something I really decide early. It's just something we talk about and they go, "Well, oh, let's see it in IMAX." I mean, it's basically HD, so it's probably worth it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, um, I don't, I don't, <laughs> I don't get anything out of the three D thing that they push. Yeah, Walter. Because they, 3D was a gimmick. Because Walter, they don't they don't do 3D like full ons because people be puking in the theater. Yeah, 3D was um, a total gimmick. It wasn't. Yeah, it's it's yeah. Yeah, Walter, you can read Tango Hunter's comment. I have to go over there and open that up. I, yeah. Oh, you don't have your your thing. Well, I, I have it open, but I, <laughs> oh god. <laughs> what, what, what? Tango Hunter, his last comment. Oh, I like that. I gotta go back to it. Just scroll up a little bit. It's not that far. You want me to read it for you, Walter? I will. Uh, is it something you're going to get? Hank likes uh, sci-fi women, not the movies. Three breasts, extra large meat curtains, three girls at once, etc. <laughs> <laughs> I like the phrase meat curtains. Sci-fi <laughs> porn. That's all. <laughs> sci-fi porn. What is the future for, dude? <laughs> Procreation. Um, Brian Quick says, I'm too paranoid to see the new Star Wars on premiere night trying to avoid a government false flag attack at the theater. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, well there no, um, there's no gun legislation in the works for this week. I mean, you're fine as long as there's yeah. you know no votes to be had. <laughs> yeah, and Warsaw Patriot says uh, I'm waiting for the next year to see twelve strong at the theaters. It's a declassified mission that happened right after nine eleven. Oh, look at the trailer yourself. Okay, I'm gonna go look that up That's right good. now. Yeah. By the way, uh, thirteen hours is that what it's called? Thirteenth hour, thirteen hours. Mm -hmm. That was a fantastic. That's the one about um, the attack in Benghazi. That movie is fantastic. Really great movie. Yeah. Mm hmm. That's sad. Uh, yeah. Um, There's a lot of. I coined a new word. Um, I woke up really early this morning for some reason, and. Um, I was dreaming about a new word, so I'm going to hit you guys with it. You guys are the witnesses that I coined this word. Go for it. God, here we go. Cow khaki. Cow khaki. And give us a definition of cow khaki. Yeah. Cow khaki. You know what that means. Like bullshit. Cow khaki. Cow khaki. Cow khaki. Well, you know, like boo khaki? You ever heard of that? Boo khaki? Yeah, you ever heard of that? Khaki is what you wear. Those are khaki oh. pants. Yeah, I said boo khaki. Cocky. <laughs> cocky. There you go. Cow cocky. Yeah, cow cocky. cocky. <laughs> Khaki. <laughs> you woke up early over that. <laughs> woke up at six o'clock. Okay, a. it's good when it's when it's when it's big. Just remember. Woke up at six o'clock in the morning. Sat straight up in bed and went. <laughs> cow cocky. Cow cocky. <laughs> cow cocky. Holy cow cocky. cow cocky. So from now on, when I hear some stuff that I'm not like, that's that's bullshit. That's a bunch just, of cow cocky. I'm just Don't gonna go. Mean? That's a bunch of cow cocky right cow there. Cow cocky on your ass. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to blow cow like khaki. Old old Spanish grandmother would be saying. There's <laughs> <laughs> some old cow khaki right there. <laughs> a 904 is like, what? what the <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Just remember, Hank Strange coined that one. He started first. The revolution started right here. <laughs> it started that right here. Would molly over it all over it. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So you know, uh, Star Wars. You know what? Can I tell you the honest truth? I unless my kids, because you know the kids are getting out of school for the winter break, so maybe they're like, "Oh, gotta go see that." But unless they do it, I'll just wait until it comes out on on uh, video. He's gonna oh, look man. for the bootleg streaming. That's bootleg. right. Uh, probably he's got it tonight. Guaranteed. <laughs> it's probably already out there now. Actually, probably. Yeah. No, I don't listen. I no, not a terrible version. Yeah. <laughs> have you ever, Hank? Have you ever seen how uh, movies are delivered to theaters now? No. Now? They so they used to be in locked boxes. Uh, they used to come in trucks. Yeah, old style was like locked box with a film reel in it. Now it's on a encrypted hard drive with the encryption key. You plug it into the to the computer that's going to play oh, it. My lord! <laughs> and they have to un and de uh, like it has to it. have an encryption key. <laughs> yes, yeah, so they they completely encrypt the hard drive so you can't. Like, if you go and you find one and it falls off the truck, you can't just pull the data off and see what movie it is. Well, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah. so completely encrypted. In um, The ones that I saw they did were um, hard drive inside of padding, inside of the, uh, what are those really nice uh, hard cases? Pelican, Pelican cases. Pelican? Yeah. yeah, inside a Pelican case locked. They deliver it to you. You install the hard drive, put in the encryption key, and then it can play. This is too much James Bond crazy. shit. You yeah, know what? I, I declare Kaukaki on that. <laughs> <laughs> I declare cow cocky on that one. <laughs> that is officially cow cocky right now. Yeah, hashtag yeah, really hashtag cow cocky. <laughs> we almost bought a couple the other day, not the movies. Uh, we were at uh, the the gun show in Tampa, and my dad and I went, and this was probably a month ago, and a oh, guy that man. is doing the rounds in the Florida gun shows, if anybody wants it, he's somewhere, he'll be at some gun show in Florida, um, bought up like 10,000 of these uh uh, cases that they had decommissioned, um, so the old, the older um, plastic ca cases, um, mm. Pelican cases. He was selling them for like five or ten dollars each for like a good size Pelican case. I I should have gotten a couple. Five or ten? Yeah, it was like ten bucks for like a, a Pelican case like this big. Up. I would have loaded up on those. I know, I, well, he, dude. Dude's got ten thousand of them. Go look at the next gun show. He, I'm sure he's gonna be there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. And yeah. and are they like used? You said. Yeah, yeah. They're the ones that they used to put the hard okay. drives in. But they they have like some of them have like interesting markings of what movie might have been in it or what company was. Oh, okay. So these are actually. Oh, that would be so collectible, man. Yeah, they're pretty like, cool. Like, imagine, like, everyone's talking about John Wick. Like, imagine if you oh, got, like, that John Wick one. Yeah. That's boss yeah, that'd be right really there. Cool. <laughs> yeah, so he's, I don't remember his name. He was doing his rounds in the Florida gun show circuit. But yeah. they're pretty cool. 
Must have a connection. Uh, yeah, he said they. I forgot how he he told me he went to an auction, like one of the. Yeah, I think the there's a there's a show coming off. up in in our neck of the woods. You just had one last weekend. Oh, see, <laughs> I, I, knew, <laughs> I, knew you were those I, I drove past it on the way to your place. The tiny little Newberry, uh -huh. whatever it is, little barn looking thing. Mm -hmm. and there are cars out front. Yeah. Have you ever been to that thing? It's it's. I've been there. It's a crapshoot. Is to yeah, what you're I've been find. to all kinds of gun shows, man, <laughs> all over the world. <laughs> you never know what you're I mean, gonna around find the world show. and back home again. <laughs> yeah, um, gun shows are not my favorite thing to go to. I kind of, I used to go to gun shows all the time. Now it's like they, yeah. they used to have deals there, and now I feel yeah. like everything's upcharged ten, at least ten percent when you go to a gun show. Yeah. Yeah. I know a deal to be found at a gun show. Most of the deals are online. What was that yeah. deal that you and Lola found? Oh, oh, I wanted it so bad. I didn't buy it. Uh, today, Brownells has the MP 2.0 compact on sale for, oh, man, I can't remember the to the, the price. Bob Metal, Bob Metal had it for two forty nine. MP 2.0 compact. No way two forty nine. Well, it was brand one, new. Of the, one of the MMPs. Yeah, that's probably the Shield. Uh, okay, the 2.0 okay. compact that just came out like okay. two months ago. Okay. They had it with the coupon that Lola put up there. Came down to 325 with shipping included. Yeah, if you guys want to see it, I'm going to try to find it right now. It's on the Hank Strange Facebook. Stupidly good deal. Um, let's see. It's on the Hank Strange Facebook, which I cannot always sign into from this computer here. Just gonna so it. I don't know if I could find it. Yeah, it's blocking me. Every time this computer blocks me for some reason from um so babyface, you find it and then put it in the chat here if you can, yeah, please. I, I, links not gonna we'll, work. I don't get that right. Links no, just, doesn't work for me. Okay, find it and give it to me. I'll, I'll yeah, try. I'll make, it, I'll make it work. Yeah. So that's cool. Oh, by the way, so right now, like I tell you guys, Big Daddy Guns, you know, um, they are definitely Trump supporters. So right now there's a party going on here in the building. I don't know if you guys can hear any partying or revelry really? going on over my big mouth, but the um, the big bad so Christmas it's, party. Yeah, it's called like it's the Trump supporters uh, Christmas party going on, oh. and so they have these T-shirts, which I think they're selling. So if you get in touch with Big Day Guns, they're selling these T-shirts for five bucks. So there you go. Trump. Five dollars. That's you're cheap, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. Trump twenty twenty on this one. Oh, I like and it. Then, really and cool. then on the flip side, it says. Fire, fury, <laughs> and power, the likes of which the world has never seen before. <laughs> and it's just after that, ask ISIS. They'll tell you. Yeah, exactly. So this is one of the T-shirts that they brought in to show me that they have going. So, um, And then this one I really like because, you know, we're we're here in Gainesville. So this one is rep kind of repping Gainesville a little bit. Check it out. Drain the swamp. swamp. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. Hashtag drain the swamp. It's got a gator. It's got the flag. I know some people might not necessarily, really, you know, like well, that. The swamp, the swamp with the gators is their home. Yeah. The Florida gators. Uh, so I don't know if yeah. you want to drain that swamp, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. So there you go. Um, that's that. And then on the flip side of it, it says fire fury and power the likes of which the world oh, has never seen before so the same thing so there i promised them i would show that to you guys i thought that was cool yep that's some cool stuff going on over there um so what is this link i can't find it I know Lola posted. can't find the link it's just go on just search like google um hank strange facebook and i'm on your facebook page i'm on your on fan just, page but yeah, I see it's, stuff it's, from like December fourth. No, I saw it. You just go back up to the top. It, I put it. I put it there. It's in the link. Oh, Lola there. says she put it in the link of this video. Lola there says she go. she put it in the link of this there video. URL shortener did not work. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna try to open it here. Lola put a link here in in the description as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see if it's in the description. Yeah, it's a stupidly good deal for the the M P. Yeah. Sounds like it. Three twenty-five for the brand new gun is that, that's a hell of a deal. I mean, I don't think T and E pricing is that good. Like, oh yeah, it didn't work for me, Lola. So I don't know. Link shortening. Uh, it works for me. No, it didn't yeah, work. it works for the person who who puts it, who submits it, but not for everybody else. That's so weird. <laughs> I hate it. The one yeah. that I wish I would have bought. In the description of the video. The one, the gun that I wish I would kind of would have bought now, and I had actually no use for it. Is when during the Black Friday stuff they had those Smith and Wesson, um, I forget the model number, but it's the hammerless guns. The shields, the little shield three eighties. Revolvers. 
Oh, oh, like the air weight or something? Yeah, and they were like normally like close to four hundred bucks, and they had it for like two fifty or something like that after rebate. Smith like, is moving Man. product right now. I don't know what they're doing, but they are moving inventory like crazy. Well, they have to. Yeah, that's the only way they're going to beat Glock is by. Did just you put it in there, Lola? Uh, give me a second. Okay, so Lola's going to put it in the description. Yeah. Yeah, or you could just search uh, Hank Strange Facebook and go Talent. to the main Facebook page, and it should be right there. Not. Okay, uh, Lola says she put it in there. Let me see if I can get. To I saw it, it earlier, but I can't. Yeah. Couldn't see it. All done with that awesome chili. Um, where it's is it? Good. At the bottom of the description, Lola. No. Oh. It was a ch the chili was pretty good, Walter? Yeah, for coming out of a bag. Yeah. <laughs> not, not too bad, eh? Not bad. No, Man. Definitely the price yeah, so what else did you guys get? I'm like, you know, I, Dude, I didn't see an inventory of this. It, are all food. the cakes gone from this guy? No, there's still two in my freezer, actually. What kind of cakes do you have in there? Well, there's there's a New York style cheesecake, and Walter. then there don't say. <laughs> and then there is a um, mango raspberry cheesecake in there. I think. What? I didn't know that. Chris, machinist Chris, he uh, he already had one of those at home, and he said it's freaking awesome. So I, I bet. Yeah, he. Um, I have um briskets, fully cooked brisket. He said the brisket mm -hmm. is awesome too. So it just falls apart when you go to, you know. So, um, prime rib, brisket, sausage, pork chops, bacon, um, um, hamburger patties that I've cooked already, and they're pretty good. Um, what else? Um, chicken fingers. We had oh, chicken nuggets last night. That's what I was eating when I was here last night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What else? <laughs> this is just this is just ridiculous. <laughs> and, and, I'm getting hungry just listening. Uh, I got these little steak, little chunks of steak. They look like steaks, but they're not, I don't know what the cut is exactly. But we cooked it on the grill. It was pretty good. Whole bunch of those. Um, Tango Hunter is incredibly wrong. A Glock 19 is just like the drug that gets you into guns. You will need to buy every gun for the rest of your life yeah. every day. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, the drug. All the guns, it's all the, the uh, it's the gateway drug for freedom. Hey, yeah. I keep seeing oh. Marley Mog like coming in and out of the door there. But she's, <laughs> Marley she's, coming in? Yeah, I keep seeing oh. her coming out and coming in and out of there really quick. We never said congratulations to her on air for the you know. Hey Marley, pending nuptials and all congratulations that. Congratulations to us on air. Because you guys are she getting says, married. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You know, and so you're having like a really wild bachelor party, or what's going on? Here? I've already told Walter we're gonna rent out some machine guns from him. Oh, that's what we're doing for the bachelor that's party. Right. That's right. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Walter is Walter's bringing the machine guns. Well, <laughs> and who's supplying the uh, venue? <laughs> the machine guns are getting shot. Uh, who's bringing yeah. the pole? The <clears throat> oh. <laughs> Uh, 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 got a Beretta Inox? Those things are really cool. I really like those. Inox. Um, who, who, see, has uh, a, who has a Beretta Inox? Uh, J.C. Carpenter. Joe Carpenter. Really? Joe. Got a Beretta Inox. I love those things. Those are really cool. Mm. Beretta 96. Yeah, I'm not a, see, that's my problem. Is I'm not a 40 Smith & Wesson fan. I never have been. Oh. I just saw something I need to check out later. What? <laughs> um, I'm definitely not naked ladies. No, no, nothing about about <laughs> that kind of deviance. Yeah, don't, don't make uh, Peggy Killer Keller come in there and smack you He's up watching. live on the show. He's I would like to in. see the first SmackDown go down. Oh, but... come on, please. Come on. Come in, Peggy. Smack <laughs> me down. Uh -huh. oh, let's lock it. Let's lock it. Let's see. <laughs> what are the odds that Peggy Killer Keller goes in there and just smacks... He's the living dog dude. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just a total beatdown. <laughs> total uh, spousal abuse. <laughs> going on. You saw it live on the Hanks train. Yeah. Oh, Chris <laughs> Bauman says the Walter the corned beef was pretty good. Also, this uh, now you people are getting out of oh, control. Chris on there? Yeah, he's on here. <laughs> oh, I don't know why you keep trying. It's not going to. Oh, the steakums, steakums. We had steakums too. Yeah, those were good too. So everyone got some of the meat and the and the cakes <laughs> and everything. And Hank Strange, nothing. Will's been eating cake for like Zero. a week. Zilch. Yeah, there's like these corned beef patty things that could use. Oh, she them. came and locked the door. She she came and locked the door. You're making too much noise. <laughs> yeah, it's like these corned beef patty things you can make sandwiches with. I haven't tried it yet, but I guess Chris has. Yeah, gonna, you guys are you guys are evil. Seriously, I'm Chris, gonna have to I can't believe recoil, you're treating junkie. me like this. If your name was really Recoil Junkie, you'd be shooting 10 millimeter because of the recoil, not a 40, not a 40 short and weak. 
Yeah, music lover says votes for Peggy on the SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody here in the, in the chat or any of you here done the conversion? For, I guess the twenty three to nine millimeter. Okay, that one works. Sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Yeah, that Lola. Works. Yeah, Lola posted one that works now. Yeah, so it's code MDK. It's three fifty. Yeah. So it's down from from five fifty to three fifty. Wow. With MDK, yeah. it's free shipping and ten percent off. So it's like three twenty five shipped to your door or shipped to your FFL. But that's yeah. a stupidly good deal. That's a great deal. That's a great yeah. deal. So it's anyone crazy. who's looking for something like that. That just came out two months ago, if even. And and you so give give the folks. Do you have one right now? I do. I have it sitting here. So give the folks here like unofficial review. We haven't done the video yet. We were supposed I, to do it this weekend, except I guess well on Saturday we're doing a, an event. I like Big Daddy it. Guns, but one hundred percent. I like it. I like it better than the Glock fifth gen Glock. I'm sorry to say that. I I have always liked my fourth gen Glock. Until I pick this up, and it just fits my hand better. Um, it's a little heavier, so they're running a full steel frame, subframe under the plastic. Uh, I think it comes back to here. I'm not sure how far back it is, but it yeah. adds a little more weight than the Glock. Um, music Lover says they're sold I, out. Yeah, Music Lover says they're sold out, so they got sold out already. And wow. uh, Opt Out Gun Control says any deals on Irish wristwatches. <laughs> I'd like to see what an Irish wristwatch looks like. Are they already sold out? Me look at charms. I'm glad, I'm glad I didn't. Um, that, I, is, I almost is that racist? Before. Did I just go racist? Um, the only thing that sucks is the little <laughs> trigger, trigger doodad that yeah. I, I hate this yeah. thing. Yeah, Todd uh, Major Majorowick says the deal says alert when back in stock. So oh, keep so, keep on it because that was stupidly good. I'm not trying to be a shill for Brown Elves, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's like when they ran that deal on that um on the uh, the Zenith Arms uh, MP5 uh, the MP5K style the knockoff MP5 for a hundred dollars cheaper for fifteen something fifteen twenty that was yeah. cheap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fifteen hundred dollars is still a lot of money, but yeah. Why? So, uh, as a manufacturer, do you have do you know why MP fives are still so expensive? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me give you two words: H. Not H K. No, 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 no. I'm saying like but the, Zenith. the Zenith. You're talking about the Zenith. Yeah, oh, the Zenith. those are still Here. way overpriced. I think, Here's my thought I think on the that: the Zenith is a good deal with all the crap it comes with. Exactly though, what Tank said. Is. Because the MP five is here. They can come Zenith in, can come in under and still here, make a profit. and it's a good yep. deal, a healthy profit. Yeah, well, but I, you get a lot. But Walter, seriously, don't you get a lot of stuff with the Zenith? Okay, you get you get a yeah. cute little case with it, which actually it's a nice case. It's one of the nicest cases I've gotten with a gun because it's not overly too big. Yeah. Okay, okay, let me let me say this real quick. I'm gonna interrupt Brian quick with this with the 2.0. You don't need the Apex sear. The sear on this one is better than the Gen 4 Glock and. I, to me personally, feels better, just a little bit better than the Gen 5 clock. You don't need the Apex for this one. From what I understand, the first one, you did need the Apex. Sorry, Walter, continue. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. No. So they can do that because, you know, you know, HK is coming back out with the K. There's a new model coming yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I Are think they? that and, and HK yeah. is probably going to be competitive now because of the other things that are um, in the market, be, right? Or it's going to be expensive. It'll still be 2000 plus, probably. Uh, okay. I mean, the, uh, I'm not the, exactly the, sure, but yeah, the Zenith uh, I think looks good. It's got um, a bunch of stuff that comes on it? the gun that comes in the box. Yeah, you get you get the box, oh, yeah. you get the gun. Obviously, you get a a, a Picatinny base. You can clamp yeah. on. That's nice. A uh, yeah. little cleaning kit. Um, three mags. Yeah, that's three. There's three, a pistol three. brace version, like a SB Tactical brace one. Yours I, didn't come with that, right? Oh, yeah, I, I got that. the straight up pistol because I was gonna. We're making our own. For, yeah. Uh, Stop. Warsaw Patriot wants to know, do we agree that the Walter P38 is the pistol that gave the idea for the Beretta's design? Yes, that's where the, that's where yeah, the drop same. is. Yeah. P38s, that's where the drop P38s are awesome guns, sorry. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they, there's nothing to be sorry about. They're good guns. They're, they're just, just, yeah, they're just... That locking, the dropping locking block that the Beretta has come from. Hammer drop yeah. safety, I mean, it's, it's, it's German, you know, what are you going to say? Um, Cal like, L says flat paddle master race. I don't know. <laughs> that's the other MP5. That's an MP5. Yeah. Um, um, the only the only people the only thing people complain about the HKs is they don't have last shot hold open. And that's and really that, the only complaint you could have. Yeah. And and supposedly there's somebody working on that. I don't know any details about it because I don't. But um, 
I heard is that based on the magazine or the, the person? It's just the design. There's no it's the design of the gun. They didn't make it back in. The no, I'm saying no the, the people who are working on it, the thing that's going to open it and hold it open is. You probably the, could do. You probably could do like the uh, the AK where you have the mag adapter that holds it back, but yeah, the 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 um the follower on the AK holds it back, but mm -hmm. um I don't know, but to, you know, like I said, once you shoot that, I'll have the MPX, the Sig. Shoot the SIG, shoot the the CZ, and you shoot that MP5 or the K. I'll take those other ones and toss them. I'll take the K. So yeah, it was you really, nice. You really like the K better than the uh, than the like the ten inch barrel. Uh, so the K is the the shortest. The short one. one, yeah, yeah. So it's a little bitty package, you know. Yeah. So yeah, it looks uh, like opt out of gun control is getting. He says, "I like my Zenith Z." Five RS. Hopefully, the ATF will have my Form One back by next Christmas. And uh, I'll have a, I'm going to have a new stock pretty soon for that bad boy. If That's you, right. You know. Let's keep an yeah. eye. For so it. I wonder when he put in for that because wow, next Christmas it might come soon. Uh, he's exaggerating, I think. But yeah, it's probably going to get no, there faster it, like nowadays. This thing took me a year. So if he put in his paperwork like yesterday, then it probably will be next Christmas. <laughs> well, I thought it was going faster nowadays because like I, so I, I talked to I talked to the guys tonight at the shop and they were saying that um, it's funny enough uh, the uh, if you do it as an individual, it's down to about four or five months. If you do it as a trust, it's taking about a year because oh. there's added things that they have to go through to check it. Where with a form with a with a uh, if you just get a, if you just do the normal form it's fast yeah. yeah if you do the normal individual all they have to do is basically a NICS check on you and I understand you know, the crazy. reason for the trust before they did away with the LE sign off yeah, now that the LE sign off is gone you don't have to do a trust yeah, yeah but what if you already have a trust well then yeah. it's up to you it doesn't matter you yeah you don't have to you put it in the trust for me the you reason can, I I had a trust was to put other people on it who so you, you can, can take my you can trust. add things to your trust after you. After, uh, you could add all your semi-auto guns on your trust if you wanted to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, yes, you know, and the, and there's still good reasons for the trust. Like if oh, you yeah. if you've got guns that you know you're never going to get rid of, you want to leave them to your kids or whatever. Right, you know, right, right. Yeah, right. that that's a good whatever thing. Whatever the for case trust may be. There, with your when like when I made my trust, I had to set up a beneficiary. So there's no question when if I were to die, who would be taking my suppressors? It's yeah, Hank Strange. Oh, oh, you. <laughs> no. What? Before we met. I made that trust way before we met. Well, you need to go change it right now. <laughs> <laughs> I called dibs, damn it. Uh, you and your dibs. Yeah, I, I know, called dibs. called dibs on things that's like... I called dibs on that steak. I got your dibs right here. Right here, I got some dibs for you. <laughs> dibs are official, man. They are recognized by you the international course. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> So there you go. So listen, here's this article I found. Let me see. I'm going to put this in the chat for you guys. I don't know if you guys already saw this. I'll put this in the chat, in the private chat, and then I'll put it in. Um, Oops. Guys, go check that out for a second. Okay. Um, okay so let me put this into oh, God. the chat for everyone who's watching. Elton history. So yeah. So unfortunately, guys, yeah, I'm making you go to a CNN article. Yeah. Just to just to like how horrible CNN. This is the article title: How an ugly, unwanted weapon became the most popular rifle in America. Basically, they're talking about the AR-15. Okay. okay. First ugly, off, it's not ugly. How is it? Yeah, I don't. Understand. <clears throat> what I can, are they talking I can, about? There's no ugliness understand. involved here. I can it's understand gonna, the unwanted because the military at the time still wanted 762 NATO. I can understand that. But ugly is ridiculous. I think the AR is awesome looking. It, especially the old guns. Yeah, yeah. The, the, full, like old the full size triangle handguard guns. Oh, those oh, cool. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, is this link not working? Oh, damn it. Let me see. Yep, error. Oh, I don't okay. know. Lola got it working, and I don't know how she did it. I think if you put here, I think this might work. Let me try yeah, it. you pull it up and put it in there for me. You know, how. I don't. Yeah, I mean, obviously, this is the C, this is a CNN hit piece, but the AR-15 is not ugly and somebody, it's not on Let me check that and let me know if it This is the most popular rifle in the world. It has been as, in service since the early '60s, and yeah, but it, it's a total hit piece. I mean, not really worth reading, yeah, it's but it's just I saw this yeah. title and I was really mad, so I had to talk to you guys about it. So it fresh, fresh Fowler, uh, never seen an ugly AR. Prepare yourself. <laughs> There's one coming. Oh, 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 yeah. yeah. Baby face is working on the the baby face ugliest, ugliest AR ever in the, the world. Ugliest. Baby I, face is ugliest. I might um, actually do one too just to see what I can come up with also. 
Because I got some ideas for it. All right, all right. I figured it out. I figured it out, Hank. Uh, if you throw the link in, doesn't work. If you put text before the link, totally works. So uh, I put testing with the link, and it works just fine. Yeah. So, so there's the rule. Yeah, we need to. We need to all. We need to all like get out our pitchforks and torches because CNN has lost their damn mind. Yeah. Well, that's some leftist you know. writing the thing, too. So. Oh, let's see who it is. Yeah. I mean, uh, look. Can I tell you something? Even the fugly ARs look beautiful. You show me some some ugly ARs people put together, and you think, oh, it's cute. You know. <laughs> you know, sometimes something can be so ugly it's cute. Yeah, like bulldogs and things like that. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> I love bulldogs. They're the best thing in the world. Yeah, absolutely. But I think that's just totally wrong. <laughs> AR-15 is the most awesome thing in the world. I this mean, come on, so man. Look, look, at, look at all the things you could do with AR-15s. Only thing that beats out loud, son. The only, gun, only gun that beats the, the AR, in my opinion, is an FAL. What? FAL has the sweetest right. lines. The sweetest lines of a gun in the world. The right hand of the free. Okay, door. so which? So what is the ugliest gun in the world then? Ugliest. What's the ugliest rifle? What's the ugliest rifle then? The ugliest rifle. Um, is it the scar with the UGG boot? No, I think the no. scar looks pretty good. Uh, except for the, the UGG boot. boot, I think it's pretty good. I want to see someone, Walter. This is a great accessory idea for the okay. UGG boot on right, scar. Make a little fur thing that you could put on the top of your UGG boot <laughs> for the scar. You can, uh, thing you can put yeah, a little on. fur thing you could put over it oh, so like you can a, like totally a, like make a, it look like an ugly. Here's, like here's, a, one that I'm, uh, here's one that I'm going to get shit on for. Uh -huh. I'm just going to throw this out there. I think the uh, the AUG, Steyr AUG, I don't like the lines. You're saying the that, no, the Steyr AUG is not the ugliest one. I think the, FS, I think the FS2000 is the ugliest ass yes, that's a rifle good. I have ever that's seen. Pretty pretty ugly ugly. Ugly. <laughs> Warsaw Patriot, don't talk about the Sten gun. Don't get me. You just bought... Oh, oh, come in. Here's uh, here's Tony Big Daddy Guns visiting us for the party we were showing. He wants to join in there's, on this. There's Big Daddy Guns right What's there. What's happening? You just bought an FS2000? I did on Gun Burger. <laughs> <laughs> they don't make okay, them Okay, we will shoot it, though. We will shoot it. No, they don't, they don't make them for a reason. What is they getting here? Hopefully next week. Okay, we will shoot it, and we will call it the ugliest gun in the world. But, we, <laughs> but we'll still love it. We'll still, we'll still love it. The PS90? PS90 is awesome. No, PS90 is like awesome though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm what do you think? Exactly what do you think, think is the ugliest rifle yet? Because there's an article of CNN. Look at this. There's this CNN article where they're they're calling how an ugly unwanted weapon became the most popular rifle in America. They talk about the AR-15. So we're having the question: What really is the ugliest rifle you've seen? If you, Man, uh, what's question. that? What's that gun? Yeah. Or I don't know. Um, Mauser. But that oh, yeah. that baby that face, baby calico. said this. Baby That's face, a, good one. a calico? No, a calico. That thing is oh, hideous. Yeah, we have one of those. We that have a calico. So ugly. You got it. Too. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got the calico. <laughs> we did call. You might Apple never see that calico <laughs> ever again, Tony. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're, we're gonna shoot it. We're gonna shoot the calico. Yeah. Oh. That's uh, the oh. calico is not ugly, my friend. Oh, you're don't crazy. Even, don't even go there with that nonsense. Oh. That's oh. 80s beautiful. <laughs> no, that's 80s. That's, that's the worst part of the 80s. What? That was in movies <laughs> in the 80s, man. Oh. They don't work. They're ugly. Uh, Nothing guess. redeeming about a calico at all. Oh, that's messed up. There's a company that's remaking okay, it. Okay, well, you know what? Then you do not get to shoot that then. <laughs> Hey, oh, we've got visitors here in the studio. Hey, guys. How's Hi. everyone doing? Hey, look, let me see if I can turn this around oh. and show you guys. we got visitors coming into the studio, Hi. hanging out with us. There's Lola. ladies in the studio. Well, Lola's here, too. But uh, there's a, I told you guys there's a party going on up in here. Party going on. We're, we're missing out on the party because we're, we're working. If you, if you can call this work. I don't know if this yeah. qualifies. It's a job. It's a job we do. Uh, yeah. What's so, up, Walter? Uh, that that, that, that FS2000 is a top candidate for the ugliest. I'm, I'm throwing one out here. Walter, I don't remember the name. You might remember the pistol that came before the PO8 Luger. It was a Mauser design. Oh, the broom handle Mauser? Not the broom handle. No, it's the one that had that big like hump on the back. Oh, oh, oh that, um, yeah. I know which one you're talking you about. Put a shoulder stock on that, and that's a pretty ugly rifle. Those were funky, yeah. Those yes. are definitely funky. Borchet. Oh, yeah. It's like Borchet or Borchet. Borchet? Yeah, I think Borchette, it's like yeah. That. Yeah, those those early auto some of those early automatics were really fugly. Yes, uh, and and then Colts making you know. Yeah, well, when it comes to pistols, there are a lot of ugly pistols. I mean, yeah. yeah. Now somebody was saying here that Warsaw Patriot I think was saying that Sten guns ugly. 
That is a no. That's bullshit. The beauty to me, the beauty in a. You know what? Listen, is, never is listen so to good. never listen to like Warsaw Patriot. First of all, he is a huge fan of the Glock. Oh, so he's oh, yeah. the Glock. oh should I start that again? Because he's gonna oh, call. Yeah. If he's gonna call the Sten gun ugly, we will start that all over again. I was trying to be nice. I see. Okay, the L eighty five. I think okay, is every high point is ugly. Will Keller says that it, uh, it looks like the calico looks like a black super soaker. Sets it. The C93 floor mm. chart. You add yeah. that old stock to that thing like they did back in World War I. Yeah. Ooh, that is an ugly yeah. gun. Well, listen, <laughs> the calico is not beautiful, but it's very cool to me. I've I think never had really one. Cool I just one. thought they were just we, two. We, we yeah. have one to shoot, man. We have one to shoot. We just yeah. have to figure out how to load that big ass tube. Uh, the helical drum mat. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Walter, that I, yes, I, I give that job to you. I place, to I place dibs on you. <laughs> oh, being the loader? Yeah, it's your job. He's not putting dibs on other people to load them. Yes, I now, I now am claiming the ability to place dibs. For have I not? Have history. I not? I, I like I'm in your time bed. The time and shows in the building. I, I'm in like a, I mean, like in servitude, like a, a indentured servant or something. No, indentured servitude. That's right. Loading mags. That's all you do. Yeah. Well, Good evening, expert. everybody. Two What's thumbs up? up. U, UTS fifteen. That's pretty ugly. Yeah. Where are you at, Tyvin? Where are you at? I am in Syracuse, New York, sitting in about nine and a half inches of snow, but it did stop snowing. Yeah, that's Syracuse in the summertime. <laughs> but, yeah. And I've got my boo-boo. Oh, I had a little oh, accident no. today. I posted a picture on Instagram. I pinched the piece of meat between your first finger. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Right in there. Uh -huh. And I got like, like six stitches and two oh. inside. No wow, you had to get you you went to the emergency room and everything. Yeah, I was in Buffalo and I was hooking up a set of trailers and uh, the Joe Dog piece that hooks the two trailers together. That center axle, ooh, ooh. it bucked on me and it came up underneath my hand and it pushed my hand underneath the trailer and it just pinched it. I had I had big old leather glove insulated leather gloves on and it napped me. That probably saved you, dude. Yeah, that probably saved I tore your my hand, hand up. Yeah. Oh, sorry to hear that, though, man. Oh, I, I feel oh, your oh, pain oh. right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can still run my controller. I can still game. <laughs> I still got my trigger fingers. <laughs> Damn, you're hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> Keep well, this girl audio. said, hey, this is going to hurt. And I was like, what do you mean? She goes, it'll sting a little bit. No, so she dumped no. this great big bottle of... Um, Benadine? Uh, yeah. Yes. Oh. And she stuck it on there, and then she got the needle and picked oh. up the skin, and it went underneath. Oh, like, oh. And then okay. she got out this number two size pencil needle and started stabbing and poking and everything. Yeah. The iodine hurt worse than the needle did. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Oh. Thanks for that, Tyman. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for telling us about that. Yeah. Um, but I took it like a man. Says, Look out for those bucking Joe dogs. What the, what the heck is a Joe dog? I don't, I don't know. It's, the, I don't know. The jo okay, you got your tractor, and then you got your lead trailer, and then there's that little axle that yeah. hooks onto the rear of the front trailer, and then yeah. your rear trailer sits on that. That's the Joe Dog. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Here you go, Hank. Here's the Joe Dog. So, you got us yeah, they, weigh, they weigh about 2,500 pounds yeah. or so. And it's like, take, yeah. Hey, Hank. Take, take, take the pythons right there to move them bad boys around. Oh, there you go. Oh. You got the Popeye. You got the Popeye forearms. Yeah. What is Vanessa yeah. wants to know what the most really, beautiful... really, Patrick? <laughs> <laughs> you What's the most beautiful firearm is? What? What is the most beautiful firearm? Oh, um, you know what? Speaking of pythons, Python is really beautiful. Oh, I love my Python. That's a gorgeous. And by the way, go down to the, the safe. <laughs> Big Daddy has a Python, and he told me that I could borrow his Python, and then I could borrow double, your Python. Double mono Python. mono. Dual yes. wielded Python. Yes. Baby we face. need to have that happen. That should be a video. Yes. That's a video right oh. there, buddy. Oh, man. I wonder if he left already. We got to tell him. I got to tell him to mono, Python. Too. So that Hank, you got some it. big guns, dude. I want to see you dual wheel a set of them 50s, man. Oh, uh, <laughs> the 50s? Did I ever? I no, I don't think. Yeah, did yeah. I try that? No, you haven't. Now, now that I'm the tail hook king, we could make that happen. Yeah, Woods, we could. We Richard could Mowder says a uh, uh, Woodstock FAL is one of the prettiest. Yes, guns. yes, yes, um, yes. Actually, oh. well, and speaking, uh, this is a gun that's I don't I, I've never actually Browning seen more power. than one. Oh. 
Okay, do you remember the do you remember the um there's a special version of the Caltech RDB that had all wood all yes. over it? That was a pretty gun. Yes. Oh, that, but they, they'll never do it. They'll never I wish they would. I wish they would, man. I'd, I'd order one in a second. I would have yeah, ordered it then if I would have saw it. They would I call order. dibs on whatever you order. Okay, I'll I'll agree to that one. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that that was beautiful. That was something that's beautiful, but I think it's just yeah. so expensive. Yeah, they'll we never do may, it. Yeah, we may never see that, but they'll that's so there's only like one of those, I think. Because that was like old, that was old school looking. That's traditional. That, yeah, that just looks so classic, man. Oh, yeah. the, the woods. Yeah. You get yeah. a woody. You know? yeah, <laughs> hey, who, who released the uh, 224 AR today? 224. Oh, uh, the Valkyrie. Um, mm-hmm. it's an AR style uh, 224. You guys was talking about the 223s earlier and how you know Walter said yeah, it's the the problem is the range. Oh, okay. And then um, somebody had said that uh, they'd posted the 224 today, but I didn't catch who it said or what brand it was. Uh, I don't know. I miss that. You know, it really, any gun that has a nice old uh, wood stock on it. Looks best. beautiful. M1 yeah, Garand, yeah. favorite, prettiest gun to me. I love yeah. a good M1 Garand. You know you can put a wood bit on that drill press you got from Walter, and you can make your own <laughs> stocks and stuff. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm planning on it at some point. Don't worry. Yeah. Did you guys see this in the news? You know the um, the Brugger and Thomet firearms, the BNT? Brugger and Thomet? Yeah, yeah Brugger and Thomet. Yeah, someone made a binary for that. Binary, yeah. Eh. yeah. Really? I don't, no? okay. I don't know why I'm so... Double I'm tap, really... I think. Double tap trigger. I'm really... <laughs> about Brugger and Thomet. I feel like it's one of those companies that charges way more than it should for a product that is just... <laughs> Anthony? Average, average. Yeah, average. yeah, it's way too expensive for what you get. Because it's from the Switzerland <laughs> islands. Exactly. <laughs> it's Swissy. The yeah. islands of Swiss, yeah. yeah. Well, well, let me Swissy. ask you this question because Walter would know. Okay. If that company is overseas, do they have to adhere to the U.S. patent laws if they bring that product over like the binary? If somebody's already patented that type of technology, do, do they have to yeah, pay? You would, yeah. Well, the, the binary trigger is probably from a company here, but yeah, if it was patented here in this country and somebody tries to import it here and sell it, yeah, it ain't going to go. Yeah. It extends oh. everywhere except to China. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> pretty, I mean pretty, of course, like when I, I have something that's patented, I can get a European patent. I can get Chinese patents. It depends on how much money you want to throw at it, but you know, um, pretty yeah. pistol, the uh, old 18, what is it, 1880? No, 1879, 1881 uh, Colt navies. Single action armies, single action. Oh, those are, yeah, those are nice. oh, those, those are beautiful. Really nice. Um, and a, a modern one, that new bullpup nine from um from uh, what you call it. Um, I saw that. It looked what? awesome. Oh man, I'm looking it up. I can't, I can't believe remember. I forgot the the bullpup Bond nine. Arms. Bond arms, excuse me. Yeah, bond arms. That that's bullpup a sweet nine. Looking gun, yeah. That's a good looking gun, man. That yeah. thing's. The, it, that's it's like a piece of it's like you were saying with the wood. It's got some nice uh, cherry yeah. wood or something. Yeah, it. yeah, it's a nice looking gun. Yeah, you know, it's finished very yeah. nice, but it should be. All for right, so would you prefer a cherry walnut, a mahogany, or an oak stock? Wal- walnut every any day of the week. I yeah, love I mean, walnut. The, yeah, the cherry is you, know, you got to be careful. Uh, uh, ash is well, good. I like a good piece of ash any day. <laughs> <laughs> I am all about the old walnut stock. I, I, no, I love some of that Turkish uh, burl wood. Yeah. Burl? <laughs> yeah. Any kind of wood. By that's the way, burl. Kevin's in the chat right now. He is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, Kevin, shout out to the burl king. The burl king. Yeah, yeah. Burl. Some of that Turkish Kevin burl. Not, burl. Not, not steel burl. Hashtag Kev- Kevin Diximus. The Burl King. <laughs> Maximus Diximus. Yeah, Maximus Diximus. The Burl King. Um, oh, M134, the Dylan minigun? Yeah, that's a pretty uh, cool gun. <laughs> well, all, all the German machine guns, like the uh, MG34 and the MG42, those are all really sexy cool. guns, too. Yeah, um, every single Gatling gun is beautiful. Oh, the old brass Gatling guns? Yeah, I've never yeah, seen an ugly one, one ever. <laughs> oh, those things are sweet. Um, are you able yeah, to get yeah, those? Yeah, 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 can, yeah. Can, can those be gotten yeah. nowadays or no? Yeah, you, so you can get a brand new one. Yeah, you don't need any any license. Well, it's Walter well, flexing his his pecs right. That's, that's not a machine gun. gun. It's not a machine gun. Flexing them guns. Oh, oh, it's not a machine gun because no. it's cranking, right? You can own right. that. They're just expensive. Well, wait a minute. You said it's not a machine gun because it's cranking. What about the uh, the love glove? That's oh, cranking. Oh, that's, <laughs> no, that's, that was electronic. That, that was, was electronic. A, that yeah, was electric. Yeah, do the work. The, the uh, it's glove. still a cranking device. I don't. I, yeah, but you, you have to. Right. You know, if you, 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's con- I, see, the, here's the here's the whole thing. And and um, before we were talking, well, when we were talking about the binary triggers, etc., it's how many actions. So like on the binary. Um, one pull of the trigger, that's a complete action. Releasing, yeah. that's another complete action. So with the crank, as, as it's clicking over, that's an action, it's a right? single action, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but Colt actually did, Colt sold some of those recently. They were like licensed. Um, $54,000, right? Yeah, they were pricey, yeah, they were very pricey. <laughs> they were very expensive. Yeah. Really cool, But then though. again, you know, if you're going to shoot 45, 70, like that, 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 You don't need to worry about money. Yeah, it's not. That's just something you want to go out and just play with, dude, and just spray yeah. and waste money. Yeah, I mean, you're um, fun. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. If you, Chris uh, Ballman, if you, Chris, Chris Ballman, our Chris says Chris Vector is UAF. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the. I, I pers- the Chris guns just then this. There's a new one out now. I guess a new nine millimeter pistol or something. The, the of the. Yeah, the well, Fox News had it on the news tonight that they were saying that the U.S. Army has now got adopted a new pistol and will be phased in over the next ten years. That's the that's the that's <laughs> not the P the Sig. That's the Sig. Yeah, yeah. Sig. Do you have any problems with those? Or am I mistaken? You drop it and it blows up. No, right? it's not that's that. Water. I thought there was some kind of other problem <laughs> recently, but I um. Yeah, so Patrick R got a hold of it. That was a problem. With that's it. right. That's yeah. right. Um, I don't know if the Chris Ve- like the Chris Vector is in a lot of sci-fi movies, so it has like a kind of sci-fi look to it, and it's, it's a beautiful it's gun too. when it's full auto and suppressed. But it's just, oh. Why, oh. You, it's just too big for for what you get, you know, to handle it. With the their ergonomics are not there. In my I love it. But for, remember, I remember needed, someone we know dual wielded though. I needed a uh, vertical grip. Oh, the vertical. green Sig. What does that mean? So you guys was talking about the Tommy gun earlier that's in the violin case. What's the length? I think it's on an SPR. That? I'm pretty sure it's an SPR. So like 24 total butt stocked in the barrel? Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, silence. You, you guys didn't get too much details on it, but I'm like, ooh, yeah. that would that be a buy. wants to ask dollars. about the Blyskawika. You ever heard of that, Walter? The, the what? I'm sorry. The, the Blyskawika. Where's it it's at? A, it's a version of a Sten gun, the B L Y S K A. Where's that at? Who asked it? Warsaw Patriot. Warsaw. Oh, the B L Y S K A W A W I C A Bliskwika. What the hell? Don't don't get too close, baby face. We can see the burgers in your nostrils, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get on. I never heard of that gun, and he wants to know if you've oh, heard of oh. it, Walter. <laughs> Oh um, lord! Oh, FG forty two, Greg Greg ninety eight K. You're on. The, you're right on the money. FG forty two is like super sexy. Yeah, that's that's German stuff. They don't they don't make uh, guns yeah. that are ugly because you don't want to have the gun to say ugly. You know, it's like a woman. <laughs> you don't want the ugly woman. You want the nice woman. Uh, By the way, Walter, it looks awful nice and bright inside your office there. Did you do a little change? No, it's the same. Just all the lights oh, okay. are on. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. For a while, we were we were we were playing with the lights and. You know, Will, my son was trying to get the lighting in here right, and then it, to me it was wasn't light enough, and so I just plugged the light bulb. It looks in. more crisp. Yeah, yeah, like me, crisp. Yeah, that's what yeah. I so think, did uh, you guys uh, see this Truth About crisp. Guns article? New York Governor Cuomo proposes firearm confiscation in New York. Oh, I'd love to see that happen. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, you know, Cuomo. You know, maybe he should lead the charge and go knock on people's doors. See, door. yeah. see how so long said, that. Yeah. yeah, so under this proposal, all guns would immediately be removed from anyone convicted of domestic violence crimes, including misdemeanors. Oh, okay. So now uh, you could have a misdemeanor. You're a felon then, huh? Is that how it depends works? on what state you're in. A felony is also considered a misdemeanor. It depends on what state you're in. Oh, dear. People in New York, you must stand up and rise you know, up. Ask, ask Mr. Cobo if he's going to lead the charge for those poor, those poor cops that he's going to put out there. And knock on people's doors and get shot when they come to the door. You know? yeah, right, yeah. Hey, what was the state that just did the buyback? Um, was it? I think it was Nevada or somewhere. They was doing a buyback, and they got caught in the news because they were taking pictures of these walls full of ARs and the black rifles and everything. And it come to find out they had a little coffee table out there with about 35, 40 guns, and they were all like, 22 oh, revolvers, crap. 30, yeah. 30. Of course, that's what they get. Yeah, yeah shotgun. They got busted on the news for that here. I have a gun ready for a buyback that I need to take. It's an old old Spanish revolver that was probably $10 to somebody. 
it doesn't work and it'd probably blow up. So I'm waiting for a good buyback. I'm gonna go get me a hundred dollar <laughs> Hundred dollar gift card is somewhere. So you know, get yeah. yourself a Walmart gift yeah. card. That's right. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now, let me ask this question here to you guys: um, That anyone here on this panel, or even in the chat, let us know that anyone buy into Bitcoin? Who is a Bitcoin billionaire sitting around here? And if you Let's are, just send me one. Thing. It makes me angry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I want to talk about this. This makes me angry. <laughs> I want to start taking it as payment, actually. Uh, well, <laughs> hey Hank, not uh, Bitcoin called Litecoin. That's the new one. That's the new you one, yeah. Litecoin, you could do Dogecoin or Dogecoin. Whatever. Hey, Hank. Okay, so I'm, t I'm taking it you're, you're well-vested in this. Uh, I'm going to uh, start. So <laughs> Tyvin. Tyvin, <laughs> barrel the, the uh, 45, the Thompson machine gun. It's a uh, okay. ten, ten and a half inch barrel with a threaded end on it. Oh, so it's um, an SBR. Half by 32? 35 okay. Oh, really? No, the thread pitch. It's a uh, five inch oh. by twenty four. Oh, okay. 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 Standard yeah. forty five, but it's a uh, so, thirty five overall length. So buy yourself a Thompson, which are nine hundred. SPR or down. Or yeah. We'll cut the barrel off. Yep. We'll do all that stuff, and then you buy the suppressor, which is another thousand. So you, yeah, yeah you can, come you in can on buy it. a violin case. That's and no it's, big deal. It's an right. auto ordnance gun. It's not. Look, something well, if you're gonna Tommy gun, you don't need no suppressor. You just go fill out your form seven, wait about a year and a half, get your license, and then you make a little Maybe deal. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, this is how Hank goes. <laughs> I would, I would love do, to. Shoot. I would do a will those. Uh, Bob Bluntman says he's got a quarter Bitcoin. So here's the reason why I asked about this woman. This is from the New York Post. Woman busted sending thousands in Bitcoin to ISIS. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a fit. Well, I I think there is a physical, but the majority of those that are Very, sold is yeah. digital. Yeah, there's no. Yeah. There's no. Like, so so here's the thing. A Long Island woman was busted sending tens of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoins to ISIS fighters overseas. After swindling money from banks using bogus information. Oh. oh. So Zuby Janas, 27 of Brentwood, allegedly then. What was her name again? <laughs> Zuby. What was her name again? Is, is Bitcoin $17,000 ah. now? She's yeah. just asked ask what got kicked in the I, ass. She, I, uh, yeah. You sound I wanted, like a rapper, Walter. <laughs> I was going to buy in when they were 500 a coin, and I was like, oh, never mind. This is stupid. I'm not buying into this. Hey, baby, baby. A coin? You could have been uh, balling. You could have been balling, Patrick. I would have been balling. I, know. Lambo. I, said, I think I'm going to start taking Bitcoin to payment. So yeah. it's that is an option. Time. That is an option, and you can do that legally. And uh, Ron Paul, the uh, guy that ran for president, he's now on TV pimping oh, really? Bitcoin. Okay, yeah, so and it is IRA acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, Joe Carter. No, so the, only, the only problem, I, and I had, uh, and I'm uh, sorry, Hank, I didn't mean to interrupt no, you. Let's go. Go ahead. I brought this up with my son about bitcoins. What if all of a sudden there's a run on the bitcoins? Where do you get the money? How no do you such get it out? Uh, there won't be a run anytime soon. Merle Lynch, run on bitcoins. Any yeah. type of investing firm, you, physical, you can sell them. There is a way. There is a way that you can cash bitcoins in for gold. Yes, sir. There is a way. Well, yeah. Where are you going to get that gold? Um, they send it right couple. to your house. Yeah, yeah, you uh -huh. can you can trade Bitcoin. Well, what I'm talking about, what if things get nutty and everybody runs on the Bitcoin? There won't be enough to. It's the end of the world in that Bitcoin, case. So uh, Bitcoin, it's not like physical currency where know, a I, bank can run out. Mm -hmm. It could never. There's only never, there's only a lot of amount of Bitcoins there's a, there's that a, is yeah. done. Yeah, it's, it's computers all, working with other computers yeah. to solve things, and then you earn currency through that. So what do you mean and by then you? Say again. Walter's saying, so So, what if there's a run on him? I don't understand what you mean by that. If somebody, if all, all of a sudden, this guy that's got, or these people that have lots and lots of money in Bitcoin decide they want to cash out. It's, the price is going to fall. That, Where are you going to get the cash from? Uh, it's, it's like this. I, I'm guessing it's like a stock Any market. type of market. investment firm will take them. Yeah, you yeah, can sell like them. This. You can sell them on the stock market. So gonna go down to your local broker or whatever. They're going to yeah. give you $20, 30000000 million or $40 million in yeah. cash? Yep. If you yep. Ask yep. Them? Yep. Yep. Right now, there's 17000 a coin. Yeah, I doubt it. Uh, I Joe, it light bit right now is the best one to get into. I mean, it goes up. It'll drop. I mean, it'll drop like 80%. <laughs> and then the next day, it's up 180%. Until it starts to, because it's new, right, until right. it starts to go like this and then grab, grab. But if you got an extra grand and you ain't worried about it, well, right what, there, what, buddy. So, so what is that at right now? Two hundred and sixty-eight dollars and seventy cents. 
Thank oh, you. So you yeah. get five or six Bitcoin. And and it's down, no, it's, like, it's called Litecoin or something. Light, Litecoin. Litecoin. Yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, Joe Carpenter you're says a pastor. Yes, a pastor in my development just got five years for Bitcoin scam. <laughs> yeah, only buy from a uh, reputable uh, stock house or whatever. Don't buy something off the, off the street from some guy. Some of these scammy uh, these scammers in these churches are taking Bitcoin. Are they really? Yeah. 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 Um, and Yuri Modin said there is a fixed number of Bitcoin. It's the reserve currency of crypto. Yeah, it's a that's cryptocurrency. Right. It's is crypto where Superman's from? Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's crypto. Green. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help that. One. Yeah, yeah. By the way, you guys were talking about Star Wars. Who's a Star Wars fan? Right here. And what? And what made the honey bun famous was Princess Leia's buns on her ears. Mm, so next buns. time you go, yeah. Well, I don't know it's about them honey buns. Here, is that one of those things we like? Never mind. I'm not yeah, by it. the way, you know, yeah. R.I.P. the Princess Leia, that, you know, I did like Well, she had Leia. that hairstyle, yeah. and there's yeah. a dessert that you can get at the truck stops or gas stations <laughs> or whatever. They're called honey buns. What's her name? And they're shaped. They're shaped um, just like that. What? What's her name? Uh, Princess Leia? Say the honey, you can get the honey bun at the truck stop. What's her name? Is Sherry Wine Is Sherry Wine listening? <laughs> 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 Sherry Wine is about to come on right now. Not, not, not. Honey buns for sale. Honey buns for sale. <laughs> <Yeah>. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hey, I like le le hey, I like leathers and whips and chains, but I don't like them that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there yeah. you go. There you go. Okay. Okay. So let's see. see. What's what up, Patrick? <laughs> uh, Simi seems to care about. Oh, that one he was talking about was a Polish made um, stem gun. No idea. Uh, if yeah. you guys if that's the case, that's, that's awesome shit, then, because they made them during. Glish they made them in the ghetto. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Those were all made in the basements and stuff. That thing looks ridiculous. What? Oh, Hank, I had somebody ask me, you said something about doing the box thing on the 100th uh, podcast. Did yeah. you got anything with that? I've. I got a bunch of we're, messages about it. Okay, yeah, we're wor mystery box. We're working on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I am I'm working gonna... on it because what I want to do is come up with a way that we can do that. That's going to be you know the, beneficial we'll to everyone. We'll do the mystery involved. baby face pee box. I'm just going to poop in a box, and somebody's going to get it. <laughs> and pee, poop and pee, poop and pee. That's why we call them. That's what the P stands we're, for. The baby and, face. And you baby. don't, you don't get to. You're not going to like buy the box. We're going to pull a name out of a hat, and it's going to you. <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> you don't get a choice. <laughs> I'm not involved in that in any way, shape, or form. Disclaimer now. <laughs> unless unless you send us your Bitcoin. <laughs> yeah. Mr. No. No. <laughs> Pocket pussy. I like that. And that's coins, plural, more than yeah, one. Big, big, big ooh, coins. Ooh. You I'm going to go steal. We got to go steal Tyvin's hard drives and go. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I have no clue <laughs> what you're Did you talking hear that? about. There was, a, there was a news story about a guy that threw away a hard drive that was full of Bitcoin. Yep. I've, there are many stories of people losing Bitcoins. On, uh, well, a friend of mine, oh, a friend of mine, a guy I used to work with at Groove Shark, uh, was digging through some boxes, found some hard drives, plugged them in, and he had like a half a Bitcoin on his hard drive. Really? Yeah, this was this was probably a year ago. It was way before they hit seventeen thousand. Yeah. They were it was sitting at like fifteen hundred. Um, he you... found it and he turned it. He sold them and bought yeah. something with it. Yeah. Music lover says baby face pew. <laughs> and Joe pew, 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 says pew, pew. Uh, poop and pee. That ain't no mystery. <laughs> <laughs> the poop mystery box. <laughs> yeah, he's the uh, phantom uh, pooper. Find a turd. You know who it was. What is is that from? That's from something, right? Yeah. God, what is that from? The Phantom Pooper. I worked at a company over in New Jersey, and they had a guy, it, uh, the Phantom Pooper. This yeah. guy dropped a pickle everywhere. It took him two years to find out who it was. <laughs> By the way, uh, you know, Ke oh, Kevin Dixie is coming out of the chat. Peace out, Kevin. Ooh. Thanks for hanging out in the See chat. You later, Kevin. There was a, there was Kevin. a story. There was a story out of Colorado of a woman that was yeah. probably like the jogging pooper. Yeah. She dropping yeah. bombs. <laughs> dropping she went past people's houses on her morning jog and just crap in yeah. their yard and run off. Pinch a loaf, man. How do you leave <laughs> some human poop, man? See, I've like, already got it right. Pinch a loaf. Pinch a loaf. <laughs> Yeah, you could, you, I could deal with like oh, dog poop, God. but human poop is horrible. I, I can't deal human with Human beings yeah. are designed not to yes. smell other human beings' yes, poop. Yes, totally. No, I'm totally, totally. I'm with you there. <laughs> if there ever was a reason why married couples should have separate bathrooms, 
Oh dear. <laughs> that is the reason right there. That's called poopery. Use the poopery. Uh, that stuff is great, by the poopery. way. Yeah. We have that stuff in the office. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it works. It works. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. Okay, did we hit all the news things? I think we did. We talked about we're we're to the point where we're talking about poop. I think the yeah. Shows <laughs> oh, 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 real quick. Uh, Chuck right. Schumer today was uh -oh. accused of sexual harassment. Um, there was a lady that had filed charges, and he immediately went to the police station yes. yeah. and filed a report on it and said that it wasn't true. This guy actually went and filed a report in denial. Yeah, we were talking. We were talking about Chuck Schumer yesterday. Yeah, about that. yeah, yeah. We touched on it, and I was saying, when did the police department? Where did you go file a report about somebody? Yeah, yeah. About it's just crazy. Somebody's talking. Somebody's talking bad about me. I need to go file a police report. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Try to get him for slander. Is what it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that, that's how they're trying to shut it down. Um, but mm, it ain't gonna work. You know, we'll see. We'll see if that story has legs. I think they're trying to kill that. And probably story. he's probably hanging out with a uh, creepy Joe Biden. So, oh god, yeah, that, that guy is creepy. Joe Biden, man, that man turn around. There's, so a, creepy. there's a you know, I haven't heard anything about him since he left office. Oh, he's, there's a videos out there of him touching girls and everything he's else. Creepy. Uh, what? No, every time, every time there was a gathering and there was a woman or or a little girl, he had was, like, hands all shoulders over. and whispering yeah. in their ears. He's creepy. Yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. yeah. So he's another wiener. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, well, that's I had a, that in too, the truest but... sense of the word, in the truest sense of the word. <laughs> you know, yeah, absolutely. Yes, I want to. Absolutely. Hank, you got anything in the uh, cabinet behind you? Uh, uh, no, I don't have any guns in there. I need to cut out the foam and uh, and then put some guns in there. All I have <laughs> is these guns that I have here, like the twenty two Bobcat that I was showing, which Ooh. was a pony. Um, oh, is that threaded? Yes, yeah, do not tell Tony, but I'm stealing that. That thing's cool. Check that out, <laughs> you know. Wow. Let's hey, lock it on you. It focus. Yeah, let's there you go. Trying to get it to focus on it here. Let's see. What kind of what's finish it, is that? Behind it like this. Um, yeah. Like a nickel. There you go. There you go, yeah. Um, yeah, it looks like a, an Inox finish. Yeah. So I'm trying to nice. use this, this method. Yeah. So there you I go. Yeah, it's, it's very, very nice. Very nice, lightweight. With a tiny little suppressor on the end. Yeah. Oh, so cool. um, yeah. For some reason, he never got one of those little tiny suppressors that we got. So I think we need to we need to look into that and see if we can get one. I mean, I don't know I how Big Daddy could not get one of those <laughs> because they just didn't know about it. Probably. Yeah. It doesn't. Well, yeah. He found out about it now, but I don't know if they stopped making them or what's going well, on. Well, that was promotional thing. Yeah, the little yeah. tiny ones they didn't they didn't make other than for promotional reasons. Yeah. And this is my mostly polymer gun here. Mostly. So mostly oh, wow. What's so that I weigh? Think, like four pounds? Yeah, it's probably, uh, probably yeah, you know, lighter than that. The only thing hey, how do you like that how do you like that rattle or grip? What this? Remember the grip? I swapped it out for the one off the rattler. Oh, is that oh that's where this came from? That's yeah. not that one. No, you didn't yeah, have the is. rattler back yeah, then. Because it, it was on the rattler to start and it was too small for my hand. Yeah, so but I, stuck you didn't, I thought you didn't have the rattler back then. Oh, I had it. That way, I, it was that did that. I did that at the shop before I brought it oh, back. Oh, oh, you did it recently, right? There you go. Yeah. It's nice. I like it. You know, it's small. Um, so is that serialized, Hank? Is that got a serial number on it, or is that one of those polymers no, you no, make your no, own and die? Real. No, it's serialized and it's SBR'd for anyone who oh, wants to yeah. know. Yep. Um, okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it's SBR'd. So the only thing that's metal is this rail, the trigger, the bolt, and the barrel. Internals in the barrel. Yeah. That's basically it. Yeah. Oh. Um, you know, upper and lower from Kaiser U.S. The gray from Kaiser U.S. and this is a working um, prototype. Plastic, yeah, KES prototype stock from. Say, How much like, something like that cost? And it has no. This is priceless. Millions. That is one bitcoins. Five, 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 five bitcoins. Five bitcoins. <laughs> five, 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 five. I'll totally give it up for five, five bitcoins. Five, 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 yeah. five. And uh, this is actually our carbon fiber here. I got that from Chris. That's in the chat from uh, Safety Harbor. And I'm gonna Chris? pull a I'm sure. gonna pull a Hank Strange. I call dibs on those bitcoins. You hear me? <laughs> oh, you could, you could you? <laughs> I call I call cow khaki on that. Cow khaki? Khaki or cocky? Cow cow khaki. Cow khaki. You you know that's the turd of a bull, right? <laughs> yeah, I know that. Okay. Okay. That's why I'm calling cow khaki. Oh, that's what you that's why you woke hey, up. That's a t shirt right there, dude. Yeah, yeah, cow khaki. There we go. 
Um, you got to show like the bowl getting into the position or something. Whoa! Did you see, did you see the video? Go, it might be an old video. I saw this video going around the internet where this dog is squatting down to take a dump, and this little little girl little girl walks up behind him and pats him on his back and then good job poop. pooping. Poop. Yep. Good poop. Really good poop. Funny. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah. Wow! Wow! That's amazing. Okay, who ha who else has news or cool crazy things? I'm going ready to go on? Eat some dinner. I'm yeah. drained, man. Okay. I'm drained. So there you go. There you go. Like I said, guys, I did see a Hudson Nine in the wild, but I did not buy it. I do not own it. Okay, so explain something to me. I gotta ask this again. What's in the front of that thing? In front of what thing? Yeah, you got the the Hudson Nine. Looks like a a handgun, but what's in the front? Right behind. It's it's some kind of recoil thing. Yeah, it's a recoil it? thing. Yeah. It's like on a on a um. You need to take one apart. I'm going to look at that one this weekend when I come on Saturday. It's the exhaust port for a V12 engine underneath of it. Don't, don't worry about it, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> I do even have an answer for it. So. Out of time. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, it's interesting. I like it because it's the first gun from a company. That's like They have like a cool story and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, it's well. interesting. We'll see. I don't know if I could convince Lola at this time to actually buy that thing. That's a lot. So. Yeah. A lot of money hey, for baby, a please. Engine. I love you. It always <laughs> works, dude. Um, have you uh, met Lola Strange? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't know. I love you with sugar on top. Uh, <laughs> you don't fall for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's an old story. She doesn't, she doesn't go well, hey, that Just tell her Tyvon gave you permission. You're fine. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. Do you, want, do you want to never get back on this show, Tyvon? <laughs> Yeah, Lola. Right. Hey, Lola, Hank, Hank tweeted at me or uh, text messaged me that to tell you that on the live stream so he wouldn't get in trouble. Uh -huh. See, I just covered my base. I, sure. I'm good now. Sure, throw me. I call Kalkaki on that one. Yeah, <laughs> I call. <Kalkaki. laughs> I got your Kalkaki right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, awesome. So you know what? Let's run this down. Babyface has okay. to go. We got to feed the face. I'm hungry. So, so Patrick, what you got going on? Um, you do have. Oh, we keep forgetting to talk about a video. You did post a video. What is it? Uh, oh, I posted a video yesterday. Shoot the, uh, shoot, mini 14. Shoot the Mini 14. Yeah, so everyone uh, go to Baby Face P's channel. It's Baby Face. Uh, what mountain Baby range was you P. at when you shot that's, that? That's up in uh, it's up in Franklin, North Carolina. Okay. Right north yeah. of uh, right north of Diller, Georgia. That's what every, everybody knows. Diller, Georgia. So I always say that. Uh, yeah. Okay. If you if you just search Baby Face P, I'm not the rapper. <laughs> You need to abbreviate that down to BFP. Yeah. It's a, um, and then look for the white guy. This is my Colt. This is my my Colt that I got from Walter. My uh, 1903. 1903. Pocket is that the one with the bulge? Yes. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that barrel. Bulge wow. Wow. Uh, that is grinded <laughs> off, wadded up, or you'd be fine. Yeah. That barrel. That barrel's been bulged more than four hours. You better go <laughs> see it. Yeah, I need to see a medical that barrel. <laughs> so I got yeah. that, and that barrel needs and, an injection. And, <laughs> I have a plan for another video. Uh -oh. I was digging through uh, some stuff that Hank gave me, and I found that... Uh, not gave, not gave. I stole from Hank, probably. <laughs> um, it's uh, the uh, adapter that you put in to release your bolt catch on both sides. Or what was that? I can't remember the company, but you have to mill the oh, receiver PDQ? out. PDQ? Yeah, PDQ. You have to mill the receiver out to install it. I now have the tools to do that. So now that I have a milling machine, I'm going to do a video this weekend of milling a receiver to install the PDQ. Oh, very cool. And that goes so, on what gun? It, whichever it, receiver I'm working Any on. Any AR. Yeah, it's from it's Teal Blue Bravo. It's, it's, for an, it's for an AR-15? For an AR-15. Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's what I meant. Yeah, yeah so you yeah. mill out the uh, the whole channel that the uh, that the bolt catch goes in, okay. um, and it, it is on both sides, so you can pop the bolt catch from both sides. Yeah. Hey, we so, need a how-to video. That's it. That's, That's what he's going to do. And I invite everyone to go check out Babyface P's channel. It's Baby Dash Face P, and it's the Mini 14 Suppress. It's a new video. You can see Babyface in a T-shirt up in the cold ass mountains. No. Yeah. Shoot the Mini Shoot. 14 Suppress Mini yeah. 14. Shooting, shooting By the this way, thing, Walter, and then he's like, "Oh, oh, there was something." He was like, "Oh, I left this thing in the car. I'm not going back there." It's yeah, I had two magazines left in the car. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way I was trudging through the snow to go get magazines. Yeah. <laughs> but Walter, way more quiet than my AR-15. That mini, no oh, gas yeah? in the face, and doesn't ring my ears at all. Super quiet. Yeah, it didn't seem that way in the video, but yeah. Oh no, it was really. Were you shooting subsonic ammo out of that, or just normal? No, no, that was regular supers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you guys go check that out. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, 
put um, hashtag uh, Bukaki on there. <laughs> Yeah. Cow cocky, yeah. Cow cocky. Yeah. Sorry, that was that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> Freudian slip on that. Hashtag cow cocky. Like, maybe like just cock cocky. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh, or, yeah, uh, hashtag like. big girl panties. Hashtag big girl panties <laughs> works. You know, or baby face uh, pee on you, something like that. You know, baby face pee on you. <laughs> pee on you. <laughs> this getting real weird, real quick. <laughs> All right, so baby face, what else do you have going on? Uh, I'll see you and whoever else is coming out on Saturday. I'm gonna go. I'll be at Big Daddy's. Yeah, everyone in Gainesville come out to Big Daddy Guns. We'll be there. Yeah, um, Tyvin, what's going on with you, my friend? Uh, just charging it up, big guy. Uh, doing the live streams. Uh, they just came out with a new DLC for GTA Five called Doomsday. Yes, yeah, so, so we'll be goofing it. around with some of that stuff. Uh, Babyface, you're on PlayStation Four, dude. You I need to uh, hook up. I'm on PC, man. I got on PC. Yeah, dude, you need to get away from that Xbox stuff. It's it's <laughs> it paints your brain. <laughs> so, but anyhow, uh, check it out there. We do gaming and all that kind of stuff, and then I uh, got some more gun stuff getting ready to come out too. So check it out, the Tyvin Show. I posted some pictures on Instagram at uh, HC Tyvin. You can see my little boo boo and my stitches if you if you're into that kind of thing. Right, and then also you're going to be doing what's the details of the fan the fan club hangout that you're going to be doing for the podcast? Um, I actually need to get with you on that. Um, I've got maybe a couple special guests. That's it's going to be cool. Uh, okay. December twenty third, we're going to be doing the Hank Militia Takeover. <laughs> so uh, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, we got a lot of details to work out. So sometime within the next week, Hank, I need to talk to you. Okay, so there you go. Tyvin is in charge of that. That's officially sanctioned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. it'll be a once a month um, takeover. And what we're going to do is all the uh, – um, uh, what's the uh, thing you pay to your uh, Patreon? Patreon. Mm -hmm. We're going to get maybe some of your Patreon guys to come in and be a part of it. Some of the people that's in the comments that are really nice and respectful, um, we will reach out to you guys and get you in, and we will talk about the Hank Strain situation. Absolutely. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, so Walter, what do you have going on? Oh, what do we got going on? Oh, well, this weekend I have a Christmas parade on Saturday. That's why I won't see you at anything up there in Gainesville, because Christmas party, a Christmas parade in Safety Harbor and a, and a party afterwards at my house. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go to that one of these years, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're gonna have to make that, that week, this weekend is the weekend that everything's going on. Every freaking thing's going on this weekend. Yeah. yeah it's uh, this weekend and next weekend. Yeah. yeah. Um, and the normal stuff, Facebook, um, milling out parts for that CZ stock, trying to get the last bit of that done. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, <laughs> um, what posts are you making on the Instagrams? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gotta, I gotta do some more of that. I did a little bit of Facebook Live this morning, showing today a couple little things, but, but um, yeah, just that stuff. Mower deaths, uh, safety hour firearms on YouTube, and um, you know, normal stuff. That's, yeah, at some point here, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna get some videos done before Shot Show. Um, yeah. You know, we got a lot of stuff to do before we do that. And that Shot yeah. Show, the Big Daddy Guns guys are gonna be there. So, um, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, that should be I, a little bit of a party. Hopefully, um, we're supposed to have our um, our uh, MP5K stock done before shot to bring the shot show. So, um, okay, uh, that'll be interesting. I won't yeah. have them for sale yet, but I will have them at. I will have the prototype there. Right, for Are you going to have your Hummer as part of the shot show? Are you taking the Hummer? No, no, no. <laughs> no that's, not, that's a long drive. No, no, that's a lot of money. Well, you can ship it or ship. Yeah. It. Oh, yeah. Uh, Okay. You know, you need to put a four-inch body lift on that Hummer. It would look so much better. Uh, uh, and some spinners. <laughs> I didn't go that far. Don't no get out. F, no, Don't get no, out. There you go. No F and way on the spinners, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Don't get out. So for anyone who is going to SHOT Show, my home base at SHOT Show is going to be Safety Harbor Firearms. So I'll be there. I'll be hanging out there. I'll be leaving my stuff there and coming back and all That's that kind all. of stuff. You look like a Trojan. But anyways, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, you know, I gotta leave it somewhere. Make sure some, uh, someone's keeping an eye on it. I will. We'll take care of it. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So cool. That's pretty much it. I want to thank everyone in the chat, everyone hanging out with us. Of course, we appreciate all the people that support us. That would be this dude here, Safety Harbor Firearms, Walter Keller, and the rest of the Killer Keller family, as well as Rand CLP, Andrews Custom Leather, and of course the Big Daddy Guns. Big Daddy. We, you know, that's how we do all this kind of stuff. And the ammo company? 
You guys still um, do the ammo? Yeah. yeah uh, well, we're, we are testing That's right now Fancy Brass. We're testing their okay. ammo. You know, we're testing I actually it. looked them up yesterday. That's why I was asking. Yeah. Good, yeah, good people, good folks over there at Francie Brass. So we're testing that out. They may, you know, maybe coming on, be doing a little something, something there um, in the future. We'll see how that develops. But uh, it's it's good stuff from what we've seen so far. So, and uh, of course, we thank everyone that sponsors us on Patreon. It's Patreon slash Hank Strange. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate your patronage for myself and all these other cool dudes here on the panel. See you tomorrow. Peace. Bye-bye. We're out of here.